down in Louisiana, where the tall, tall pine trees grow. They live a preacher daughter, and she knows how to jelly roll. And her papa want to save my soul, but her sweet talking daughter, Lord, she loves to jelly roll. Yes, she does. You can't for tomorrow. I'll be gone. And my good gal sitting alone, she hollered her back, Daddy, Daddy, will you come in home? Won't you come on home? Get along when they talk. Hell, they can recommend just like a cannonball. But hell, I love to watch them fall. Oh, the Mississippi woman, Lord, if they don't beat off. Oh, now, yes, they do. Well, I've been looking out my window as far as I can see. I'm looking for the rounders and they're looking out for me. Oh, but why won't they let me be? I'm a high-stepping papa way down in Tennessee. Yes, I am. Why won't they let me be? She likes to say we shouldn't, but you know we always will. The hollers catch me if you can, runs up over the hill. Well, that's how she gets her thrill. Saying that we shouldn't, but she knows we always will. Yeah. She always said we shouldn't. Saying that we shouldn't, but she always will.
gotta love that there swamp music, don't you, man? Put you right in the mood for some Gatorbots. <laughs> What's up, everybody? How we doing? I had to get a little uh, impression of S. Dan out of the way. S. Dan, if he had a lower voice. S Dan if he had yeah a lower voice essentially there so <laughs> but cool hey what's up everybody how we doing welcome into the swamp there and yeah we're gonna be having some fun today doing some fun builds in the industry area keep on doing that industry area that we've been doing there but let's go ahead and see who's hanging out in chat there hi everybody what's up leaf how you doing buddy I was watching some leaf videos this morning it was Leaf's turn to get caught up, or for me to get caught up on Leaf's videos, essentially. I choose like a creator each day, and then I'm like, okay, I'm watching like the four videos I missed from you. Leaf's easy though, because he hasn't been making that many videos in the past few days, or past few weeks. Ha <laughs> ha, zing. Um, <laughs> but no, I watched uh, uh, two or three Leaf videos this morning, so that was good. What's up, Troy? How you doing? Just Goran getting back from camping. Um, good to see you, buddy. Hope that was a good time. Oh, you're a volunteer with the Boy Scouts. That's fun. I used to be in the. I never made it to Boy Scouts. I was a Cub Scout. I don't know. How, I don't know if they have that in uh, in European like Boy Scout. You know, under the umbrella of the Boy Scouts or whatever. But yeah, Cub Scouts was like for uh, smaller kids in like uh, elementary school and. No, it wasn't even, it was like, yeah, it was like around, I was like six or seven when I did that. So anyways, but hey, what's up, Harry? What's up, Silver Fox? Good to see you, buddy. Gomez, Moen. How you doing, Gomez? Good to see you, that buddy. Hey, Becca. How you doing as well? Everybody doing. SDN disliking even before the stream started. I know. Well, that's how you know that we have a big fan, right? And it probably is SDN. That's how big of a fan SDN is of um, my channel and Beyond Wolf Nature Preserve that if you have someone that's disliking the video as soon as it goes live, that means that they have notifications on and they are there watching, ready to show their support in a downvote kind of way. You gotta love it. You gotta love the commitment to the dislike <laughs> to get it that quick so but yeah we are going to hang out over in this area again and we're going to switch over we're going to switch over um to showing off some blueprints some different uh blueprints some different uh there it is uh, inspirational photos all that kind of fun stuff some different bar mill builds but yeah we're going to move on from our furnace area and we're going to kind of move over here into our more of like a gridded area like we've been talking about this a little bit sdn and i um moving into um not just this one because really if you look at this this whole project is one giant road that goes back right that follows the waterway which is fine it's a waterfront type town, but we were thinking that'd be kind of cool when you see us dork back here starting to do some of his stuff. We're going to check that out. I haven't really looked at it. Um, but yeah, I want to get the gridded system, the grid system kind of going for our industry area. Um, I miss a lot of SDN stream, unfortunately, when he did all this. I got to see him build like this. <laughs> I saw SDN do this right here, and then I missed like the rest of that, essentially. So the group I was with was the Dutch equivalent of the Cubs. Oh, okay, cool. 7 11 years old. That was either a really good time or a real annoying time. So what's up, Squiddy? How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Look at what SDN's doing here. Looks like he's pulling in some, yeah, pulling in different blueprints from different areas. SDN's really good at that. Pulling different, like, blueprints from certain other builds and stacking them together and everything. Yeah, it looks really good. I like that. Oh, I love this house. Has a little interior section to it. This was one of his uh, Christmas builds, wasn't it? And then there's, of course, Becca's Bakery. I got on SDN this morning. I was like, listen, dude. Send me over all of your blueprint pictures, because, heck, I need to make a Google Drive folder with all of these. You call them beavers? I would also make a lot of jokes about that. I would also do that. <laughs> Didn't know he was street. I know, well, that's kind of the issue with us, Dan, isn't it? Right? So everyone always yells at him, and he always uh, thinks it's hilarious. To, Maybe, Estan, would you do you mind getting like a schedule or anything? And Estan replies, <laughs> No, <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> he will never get a schedule, and uh, we just all have to suffer because of it. <laughs> well, especially now with the a bay bay coming along, he's definitely not going to have a schedule, is he? His schedule, his non-existent schedule, is going to get even worse. So, those of you that have really been requesting a schedule from <laughs> from Estan when uh. When his baby's born here in the next, what, not too long, uh, then it's really just going to whoop, see ya. <laughs> that's awesome. Do, 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 do. Cool. All right. So that's, oh, you know what? There's one other thing. Yeah, that's right. He was over here mucking about as well. These are definitely his Christmas builds. I don't know what this build is. I think this is, honestly, I think that's one of the Spanish houses kind of out here. I don't know if that really fits in. 
I like these two right here, though. I'm definitely sold on uh, these two from his Christmas build, because, yeah, I'll always remember the creepy panda. Like, uh, what's the panda supposed to Oh, it's supposed to be like an eagle or something. I don't know, anyways, but he stuck the, the creepy panda eagle up there <laughs> um, for the Christmas build, and this looks really good. It, uh, it incorporated pretty well. Same thing with this one here. I really like the uh, rustic style with it. And the interiors. The interiors are always done up really nicely. So, I think the only one I'm questioning... I think this one. I don't think this really fits in with the other two houses that he has going here. I think this would look really good in the um, the Spanish section, though. It fits in, like, perfectly over here. If y'all remember the Spanish... I don't know. Is this Revival? I don't even know. But that, that was, this would fit in perfectly over here. So I'm gonna have to talk to that dude about that. Delete, delete, delete. I know, right? Should I just pull a mic and delete it? No, I'll talk to him first. I'll talk to him first. Oh, and speaking of something else that he uh, put in. Oh, it's looking choppy on my OBS. Hopefully it's not too choppy for y'all. I'm paranoid about that now. Oh, uh, look what else he put in. I think this is a workshop item. But look at this big old atrium looking tower. It looks pretty cool. You get some really cool views of it as you're going around. It's kind of a cool like transition piece between the Spanish area and uh, the Spanish area and uh, the town and everything. Kind of right in between. Oh, you know why it's probably stuttering? Because I let guests in like a doofus. I forgot to close the zoo. Everyone, get out of here! Why are you even in here? There's only, there's only like two animals in this whole place. So, yeah, pull a mic. Yeah, right, we're gonna make Mike's name a verb now, so. <laughs> the giant Frank? No, we can never get uh, rid of Frank the Redeemer. Never, ever, ever get rid of Frank the Redeemer. So, but, all right, cool. Let me show y'all some reference photos. I think there's like five of them that we're gonna look at today. I'm not gonna build five things. I don't think, <laughs> but uh, I have five reference photos that we're going to uh, go ahead and look at. Hey, what's up, Max? How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. There it is. Display capture. Oh, we got that rockabilly type music. All right, cool. So here's the first one. We got the Harder Silo Co. Inc. Wait, Company Incorporated. There we go. So there you go. There. I like this the look of this. Like, this would look really well if we had some, like, uh, weathered brick we have the painted brick which looks a little bit weathered and then we have the regular brick in game that's like the classical brick uh but you can't recolor that one It'd be really awesome if we could recolor that one but yeah i wish we get some more weathered effects that'd be awesome so there's this one uh there is let me zoom out this one i like this it's pretty um neat looking as in like kind of pr more pristine not not so uh janky but we can definitely jank it up and put some uh, swamp vines growing on you know all that kind of fun stuff that we do but i really like this one there's even a little train track that runs here we have a, we have the train line running through um part of the town so we might be able to incorporate that as well you're trying to finish the bat frame today do it <laughs> i like the front facade of this one again a lot of the reasons i like it is because of the kind of worn down like almost burnt look to it but it could be kind of cool for just a generic warehouse and I think this is the last one, but yeah, the Anheuser Budweiser. Yeah, the Budweiser uh, plant down in, where is this, in uh, St. Louis? I think St. Louis is where uh, Budweiser is. Either there or Milwaukee. No, Milwaukee has Miller, right? Milwaukee's Miller. But yeah, I think this would look kind of neat as well. And oh, and then there was there was one more. Yeah, and this is the last one. But it's very similar to the first one. No, it's not. Uh, but yeah, the Allstate machine parts. So... Yeah, I think that this would... Is it Missouri? So St. Louis. St. Louis, Missouri. Um, I think we'll do this one. This one caught my eye um, before, and I think, yeah, we'll do this one to start off. It's pretty simple. Um, doing the fire escape might be the quote-unquote, like, toughest part. Other than that, I think we can get this going. No problem. i me switch that over. Cool. Yeah, let's do that one. We'll do that one, and then hopefully at least one more. And again, yeah, we're going to just finish up or fill in this um, this kind of city block area over here. We're not going to go exactly off of this gridded area. I'm going to probably delete most of it, but um, it's just kind of a basis to go off of. All right, let's put this over the soir. There we go. Pause the game because that always helps. And here we go. I also need to come back eventually and just start finishing stuff up. I'm kind of 
going against how I normally build, where I have like back ends just like not built up, like entire side walls and stuff just not done. And this giant area in the middle here, there's got to be something to fill that in and stuff. So I'm kind of like just moving forward without finishing something all the way, which I normally don't do, but that's okay. It's K. Do, 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 do. Oh, so for those of you that were awesome enough to put up with the uh, the stream from yesterday, the Zooten Tower stream, um, thank you, because it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad as far as the lag and uh, being pressed for time was the big thing because we couldn't show off the whole zoo because I was really pressed for time. I only had like an hour and a half. Um, so yeah, big shout out to everyone that showed up for that. But yeah, so the big news with that is that we're going to be redoing it essentially um i deleted it already if you uh if you were looking for the zooten tower final tour it is no longer in existence because it just went really bad i, just, I don't know how else to put it like it was a lot of it was my fault because again i was kind of rushed and um the lag was extraordinarily terrible for like half of the stream slash video so it just no bueno no bueno see i talked to wyatt this morning we agreed that we want to try that again and not have that be the final like send off for uh Zooten tower so him and i uh, are going to record re-record that not stream it but just re-record it this week so i live my life not finishing before i move on yeah i i, I try not to so bad because then you're stuck with the oh crap i gotta go back and <laughs> you know finish up half the zoo or whatever now let's, let's get by you Frank there we go wish you could have made that one. Oh, it's okay leaf again it was I mean it was fine like the showing off everyone's builds right that was extraordinary everyone does a did a great job with zoot and tower um, but the quality was just really bad on my end um, I was I was streaming it to Discord as well as, you know, the regular stream. So it was like my bandwidth was just like, nope, <laughs> nice try. Um, so like I eventually stopped streaming to Discord and then it kind of fixed itself a little bit. But that was like 26 minutes in out of the uh, 59 minute tour. And yeah, we skipped a lot of stuff and that was my call because in my mind, I was like, oh, well, we already showed off half this stuff uh, eight months ago in the original tour. No need to do it again. <laughs> but it's like, duh, it's the final tour. We should show off the whole zoo and everything, you know, in its entirety. So yeah, it was just not that good. Not that good for me. I'm forcing yourself to uh, finish before my next project. Uh, yeah, I think that's, uh, uh, for me at least, that's always been the way I go as well. Uh, kind of have one big project going at once, and then from there it's like, yep, I can't really do much more. <laughs> go. Let's do like that, and then we'll bring it down. Oh, you know what? Actually... I want that to look more squared off, so let's do this. That's a little bit better. I had to text my wife. She's uh, she just started a new job uh, today, and uh, she's texting me like, "I'm not getting internet out here. Is it just where I'm at, or is it the phones altogether?" I'm like, "Nope, just where you're at. <laughs> you're kind of working out in the boonies." She's working as a receptionist at a hardware. Or a, I don't even know. It's like a construction company, I think. <laughs> no, a timber company. There it is. It's a timber company that sells, like, wood and stuff to construction companies. I need to fit a sign in here. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, you know what? I can actually take these and spread them out just a little bit more so we're not super condensed down. Yeah, we can do like this. No! Damn it. <laughs> the world access giving me a headache. I'll give that a pretty good out of 10 for eyeballing it. Right? That's, that's not, nope, that's not good. Hold on, we can fix it. <laughs> Come on, oh, bummer. I don't know what it is with the axis. It feels like ever since the recent update, the advanced move tool has kind of gone bonkers a bit. Like if I select anything that is between two to four objects, it goes all wonky like you've been seeing it do. And then anything above, yeah, like five and above, then it's like, okay, I can work with that. I understand what you're saying there. But yeah, two to four, it's like, no, I don't I don't really know what you're asking of me right now. That's too hard of a math problem. <laughs> nice, Harry. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna give that a good enough out of 10. A solid, good enough out of 10. All right, so for the side, it says all state machine parts here. I think we can run with that. Ah, darn, that's not gonna work. Let me pull out some custom fonts. I feel like I haven't used custom fonts in a long time, like the ricey fonts and stuff like that. I can't remember the last time I used one of those. If it's like pretty damn perfect. Pretty dang perfect there. Alright, so yeah, all start machine parts. Let's do something else. Who haven't we named something after that we've been needing the name after for a little bit? So Estan got Becca. I know that for Becca's Bakeries. Uh, he got Liz's. None of these have names. Who don't we have anything for? Leaf, we got you coming soon. I know that. Because we gotta get your uh your pooper in there. Seabris, <laughs> Basic Builders Tools. We got Silver Fox, right? You're one of the first ones that we got with Heather. Uh, yeah, the ca uh, cannery. We got Mr. Domez Brew House, the Linda Brow. Mel's Mer Yeah, Mel, that's right. Who else? We got Claire. Aunt Chris, where's Claire? Uh, not Claire. Where's Aunt Crispy Ben? Oh. Zoomy Zoomies. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> With the customs, that's got to be named after someone still. Uh, that whole area needs to be kind of completed. So the MS Queen. By our one and only MS Queen before. When did that whole street come together? I know, right? It just kind of was like, okay. Nice. Oh, then, then we got Mass Bandits as well. Goron's Gold Exchange. We'll go with Goron. We'll do Goron's Machine Parts. There you go. And that's how you get something named after you. <laughs> you just kind of type in chat. I'm like, yeah, you know what? That sounds good. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, let's take this. Now, what does this look like in comparison to the in-game fonts that we got? Because that's kind of how I remember why I stopped using a lot of Ricey's fonts and stuff. Because Frontier was like, oh, those look cool. Let's, let's, let's do that. I mean, yeah, it's essentially the same... So we'll just do that. We'll just use the in-game fonts. Rip ricey fonts. Do, 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 do. You'll take a factory? Okay, well, we're going to have a lot of factories coming in. So uh, I think we'll be able to name a decent amount after people if they would like some uh, factories or anything like that named after them. So Goron's Machine Parts. Can I get a G? G. Can I get an O? 
Oh! Can I get a R? R! Another O. And then, and, wait, is that how you spell it? Goron. Yes, okay. <laughs> you ever do that where there's just like a name that you've spelled or looked at a million times and you're like, oh yeah, I mean, that's, you know, that's that name. I know how to spell that. And then you put it, then you actually write it down and you're like, something is not right. Why can I not spell this very simple word that I've spelled a million times? What's wrong? <laughs> What's happening? We're going to have to use the smaller letters or put everything closer together. Let's try that first. Let's get everything closer together because it needs to be machine parts. I don't think we're going to be able to fit machine parts in there. Oh, there we go. Save a lot of room. I don't think it's going to fit still. So there's a smaller version of this one, right? This isn't the biggest one. I mean, that's a little bit smaller. Oh, there is a smaller version. Well, nuts. Well, nuts. Essence said he's doing my uh, hairy hallucinogens and psychedelics emporium. Yes, that's right. Yep, that's on the docket. Yeah, just Goron's parts. Yeah, we might have to do that. It'd be cool if we get machine... Well, we could probably put machine parts on... There's going to be a wall that comes here and then another long wall here. We could probably fit machine parts there. So yeah, we'll probably just do Goron parts. Good call. And if someone comes up and be like, what kind of parts do you sell? I'm, we're all going to yell at Domez. And be like, well, I would have told you, but Domez said just to put parts. Details like that. Who needs them? <laughs> Close. There you go. You might get an armor. Yeah, like we don't know what part of Goron you're going to get, but you're going to get some part of uh, Goron's parts. <laughs> <laughs> Goron parts. Wait, I need to put an S in there, don't I? <laughs> we need it. We need an S in there. And it, wait, do we have an apostrophe? I mean, I can make one. I'm just wondering, like, did they give us one? I mean, kinda. You say comma, I say apostrophe. You know. You say apple, I say orange. Did they not give you one for this one? For this lettering? Only for the. Oh, okay, I guess that is it. These are indeed Goron's parts, so we do need an apostrophe. Goron is parts. <laughs> English, am I right? go and then let's take these letters and just kind of them up a little bit hello these aren't changing color oh because you have to change the color up here not down there here we go custom made parts just for you yes we'll custom make until uh, we'll go through every single go around that we can until we get the right part for you all right, so we have that, and then let's do this painted brick. Give me this color. Oh, it does actually change color, okay. Does he sell private parts, though? Hmm. I think that's more of like a Howard Stern thing. No! 
that was actually my first introduction to like Howard Stern at all was his movie <laughs> private parts I think my dad or uncle or someone was watching it at our place and what movie is this oh there's boobies on the TV <laughs> there's one of those moments where I, I remember as a kid very vividly just walking in like what's going on what are you guys watching oh <laughs> I think I need to leave On their OnlyFans? No, no, wait, isn't it that OnlyFans is like not, they don't do uh, like nude postings anymore or whatever? Aren't they trying to do like the Tumblr thing where they're like, no, 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 we're, we're real. We're like a real website that does like not porn things. I thought I remember reading something about that. They were like ashamed of the, uh, of what OnlyFans turned into. It's like, dude. I mean, I guess I, you know, moral quandary aside, but your website's making a bunch of money. <laughs> hey, Andal, what's up, buddy? Welcome on in. Do we have a thicker painted brick post by chance? No, we don't. I might have to double this up. I might double this up, actually. No. I, I don't know, Troy. That's what I was wondering, too. Like, what else... You Like, what was it used for before the pandemic? Because to my understanding, OnlyFans, like, blew up in popularity, you know, when the pandemic happened. Um, but no, I have no idea. I don't know, what did, they, like, people, like, read books to each other on there? Like, what, what, what was it for? <laughs> All right, let's see. I need a single entry door. There we go. Hey, uh, afternoon, evening, Christina. Hope you're having a good one. Good to see ya. Can I recolor this door? I can, but isn't it where you can recolor the door but not the frame or something dumb? Yeah, like, what? <laughs> Why would you do that? Why wouldn't it recolor, like, oh yeah, because you know what I really want this door to do? Is have just the... Okay, anyways, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. Um, but I'll just, uh, I'll just cover it up. We'll just cover it up ourselves. It's the equivalent of fine. I'll do it myself. And then the color is a little bit off too. No. No, it's not. That's no, actually, the thin one worked out really well. Uh, da, 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 um, it's trying to be like a patron. Oh, oh, the site patron. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, you know, whatever they think works best for their business model, but just from an outside perspective, that's stupid. That's, that's so dumb. That's like NASCAR coming on and be like, all right, everyone, I know that you all are here to watch cars drive in circles for four hours, but what if, and, and follow me here, what if we got rid of the cars and got rid of the drivers, right? And then what we did is we brought in people who skied around the tracks. Huh? With me? That'd be cool, right? Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do that, everyone. Let's do that. Let's get rid of the thing that we're really well known for and kind of built our entire popularity on. And let's just do something totally stupid and different. Hell yeah. Meeting adjourned, everyone. I feel good about this. This is good. There's no way that this is a stupid idea. Boom. All right, so we'll just make our own door, our own green door. <laughs> oh, and you know what? It's actually a little bit propped up, so we'll have a little bit of stairs coming down this. Yeah, I'll go about like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No nudes and OnlyFans? Damn, they're, they're gonna go under fast. Well, it's like Tumblr. Remember Tumblr when they like, they were getting popular because people were doing adult content on that? 
And then they were like, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. You're telling me that our our hipster website is starting to get some popularity because of boobies and dinglings? No, 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 no. Get rid of it all. People can't know about our hipster website. Only hipsters can know about our hipster website. Get rid of the boobs. Actually, why don't I just use the plaster piece? OnlyFans works and people make uh, tons of money on it. Compared to what? Because, yeah, I don't, I don't disagree, but compared to what? We are just saying it's, it's a dumb idea for them to get rid of it overall. We weren't comparing it to anything. I know about that one. There we go. Remember Tumblr? No. Yeah. Well, it's kind of funny because I do remember Tumblr. Uh, me and my, my friends and I used Tumblr a lot uh, when it first came out. And it was like really fun to like share different like um, posts and pictures and like different like art and stuff like that. That's what, it was, that's what I remember for is being like an art like reposting site essentially. And then we stopped using it. Like we'd really uh, look into it and use it a lot um, when we'd be up overnight because I used to work an overnight shift. So for the first part of it, we would go to a restaurant that had free internet, not McDonald's, it was some like local restaurant. Um, we would sit there on our like laptops or whatever and like just find Tumblr posts. Because it was, uh, we had never really seen anything, a website like that before. We could see like kind of underground, like quote unquote, like underground art or whatever. Um, just kind of at your fingertips. So it was really cool. And then, yeah, like I said, kind of stopped using it because I you know, just kind of stopped using it. And then next I heard about it, people were posting a bunch of porn on there and it was really popular. And then Tumblr was like, no, they can't know us for porn. And then they shut it down. I could be way off on all that because, again, I <laughs> kind of was looking at it all from an outsider's perspective. And yeah, no, it just kind of sounds like that's what OnlyFans is doing. And to that, I say, stupid. Unless it's, again, unless it's like a moral thing. Like, they wanted their website to start out a certain way, and then it started to kind of turn and go a totally different direction that they didn't anticipate. Then sure, get hold of your website, but also money. <laughs> Hipsters cross with uh, hillbillies? No, no, me and my friends weren't hillbillies. My other uh, one half of my family is a hillbilly. So that makes me half hillbilly. <laughs> Tumblr 2012 was a refuge for me. Tumblr now is Twitter, but with uh, longer posts and more depressed kids, to be honest. That's, yeah, and it, that's kind of what happened is that's right. Yeah, it turned into a total like depression zone for like people to go there and post like sad stuff. Yeah, because, yeah, we went from a lot of music too. That's right. A lot of uh, my friends, they were in bands, like local bands, and it was a really good outlet for them to promote their music. The Tumblr scene for like indie or underground um, type music was really, really helpful in promoting them. Like, I, again, I live just outside Chicago, so um, a lot of, like, the Chicago hipsters or whatever were really using uh, Tumblr a whole lot. And, yeah, a lot of my friends, they got um, booked on gigs because of Tumblr, you know, sharing their music around and using the hashtags correctly. I used to post uh, Planet Coaster stuff over on there, I believe, if I remember it. No, it wasn't Tumblr. Never mind. It wasn't Tumblr. But if, there you go. I'll take your word for it, buddy. <laughs> well, no, yeah, right. That's the thing. Isn't don't they use Twitter to promote um, OnlyFans, like all their OnlyFans accounts? So, dang, Twitter might take a a porn hit too. Harry, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, Harry? Okay, so I think that's pretty good for the front. Oh no, we need a buzzer. There's like a little buzzerino here. I think that's neato. Jeff Rosenstock started on Twitter. That sounds familiar, but I'm not... Jeff Rosenstock. Musician. American musician. Ska Dream. 
is American musician, multi-instrument, instrumentalist, singer, and songwriter from Long Island, United States. He was the lead singer of the ska punk band The Arrogant Sons of Bitches, the punk musical collective Bomb the Music Industry, and oh, Bomb the Music Industry, I know them, uh, and the indie rock noise pop band Kudra. Interesting. And they got and they got their start on uh, Tumblr. You're saying like promoting their music and stuff. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, oh yeah, buzzer. That's what I meant. The boozer. Right, yeah, exactly, Domez. But now, again, like we were talking about, like if they take away nudity on OnlyFans, then what? Well, then another site's gonna fill the void, isn't it? It's not like people's desire to see other people naked is gonna go away just because OnlyFans doesn't have nudity allowed anymore. <laughs> another site will take its place and fill the fill the market gap. It'll fill the gap. Well, it just kind of seems like one of those... I like how today's discussion just apparently turned into uh, talking about the porn industry, which I know, like, virtually nothing about. Um, but wh why wouldn't uh, one of the bigger porn websites that are out there just latch on to that idea? I bet they will. Just let Joe Schmo and Mary whoever start doing, uh, like, OnlyFans stuff on the bigger porno sites? I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> I know, Bull, that's what I was just thinking, like, well, that's what, that's what I was saying, Dome, as I remember seeing an article a little bit ago, and some other people in chat were saying they saw it, too, that, yeah, OnlyFans is removing uh, nudity from their thing, and they just want it to be, a, like, a Patreon-type website, and that's it. So that's, that's where the whole thing got started with us being like, well, what are they going to do? That's going to fail. I guess the gutter will work. A lot of edge cases as well. What do you mean by edge, like, uh, skirting the line a little bit? Like, ah, uh, that might... Oh, no, not this one. That might be counted as nudity or whatever. Because uh, a lot of accounts don't have nudity, per se. Okay, so yeah, so it's not just... It's not just used for that. Yeah, that makes sense. Twitch hot tub streams. <laughs> My favorites of those were when the, the guys started to do it and kind of you know, poke fun at it. <laughs> and then you saw that the guys got in trouble like the girls did. It's like, really, Twitch? Okay, let's just shut it down for everyone, right? <laughs> there comes a certain point where it's like, all right, well, the meme's done, and now it's just not funny for anybody, so. <laughs> Basic Builder, thanks for stopping by, buddy. We will see you, we'll talk at you later. Hope work doesn't drive you nuts today. Hopefully it doesn't drive you nuts today. favorite accounts on Twitter and it's uh, sometimes shocking to scroll and be like games games horses yeah. <laughs> I can imagine right right because you have all of your interests and then all of a sudden it's like oh yeah that's right I did subscribe to you didn't I <laughs> and that's what you promote yep well that's cool it's, it's one of those things where you gotta you gotta remember that when you're out at like you know a restaurant or the DMV and you're sitting there bored and you're doom scrolling on Twitter the dude behind you is creeping and I'm like oh hello Oh, hello there. Stuff on your phone. Is this the one that's teeny tiny? Yeah. The red button. Touch the red button. Push the red button. Be one with the red button. Uh, da, da, da. YouTube is news, uh, not having to be employed in a traditional company and doing your own self-employed thing. What OnlyFans is in the adult business. Yeah, like employing yourself and stuff and just like um, taking the... I don't know if power is the right word for it, but yeah, taking that control back. You know, like you don't need to be... Like, yeah, because we're using the porn uh, example. You don't need to be a in the industry or whatever, right? You can just uh, make your own stuff. Make what you think looks, or, uh, you know, satisfies your outlet. There it is, art outlet. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly, Domas, yeah. Here you're going by self-employed, right. Yep, yeah, that, that's, that's overall much better, I agree, I'm with you. And that's one of those things, like, 
you see a lot of celebrities now really getting on the uh the youtube i don't want to say it's not a bandwagon right on on youtube essentially you know will smith and uh jack black and i think what uh kevin hart has some stuff as well but i was really shocked at how long it took traditional hollywood to oops um so yeah, they make, start making their own accounts, you know? Because it's like, dude, you're just leaving money on the table, being a celebrity and not having a YouTube account. Like, I, you know, I get it. If you're if they're a really, really big celebrity, like so, sh Tom Cruise or something like that, sure, they're probably busy off making movies and stuff. But in the meantime, like, make a YouTube account and start posting stuff, and you're going to get a million views per just because you're a movie star, and that's just ad revenue coming in. And then, like, they finally started to do that. It's like, man, y'all have been leaving money on the table in YouTube land for a while. Just You're just now catching up to us, like, or to, you know, YouTube and stuff? It's like, dang, dude. Y'all need to get some better agents. Better business managers. Podcasts, too. Podcasts are another one where it's like, if you're a celebrity or have any sort of following, just talk for an hour about literally nothing, and your fan base will sit there and listen to it, and you can get free ad space on that and stuff. Fuck it, Only ethical porn, uh, only household. See, I didn't, I didn't even know that, that was like a big um, conundrum or debacle within the industry. I heard um, there was a Vice documentary I saw recently about how not great the porn industry. I thought it was like super regulated and you know everything was done really quote unquote like by the books and stuff, but I guess it's not at all, and that's kind of terrible but yeah if you want to produce one that treats people really well or only fans hmm. <laughs> they get bullied <laughs> Tom Cruise would get bullied on uh, on YouTube wouldn't he <laughs> oh Tom Cruise just me and Tom Cruise doing Tom Cruise things cruising around I will always love Tom Cruise, though, as an actor, just because of his performance in uh, Tropical Thunder. Tropic Thunder, excuse me. That performance in Tropic Thunder is just... It can never be topped. I just don't think it can ever be topped, really. Nor should it even be attempted to. <laughs> they probably, yeah, for today, they can never write a character like that today. <laughs> Everyone would lose their mind. But I'm definitely glad that I got to A, see that in theater... And B, yeah, just be around uh, for that movie to be made and that character be, to be written. If you haven't seen Tropic Thunder and you don't mind getting, like, offended or whatever by pretty... I don't know what you want to call it. Cringe 2008 humor. Definitely watch Tropic Thunder. It is so good. It is so good. Internet content changed the horse industry massively, too. What do you mean for, like, shows and, like, trying to produce the best... Uh, breeds and stuff like that or um yeah what do you mean by that i need something to work as a dog yeah that's why i said as an actor i always specify like i can i'm at least for me personally i can separate art from the person like i know a lot of people don't like um what's the one that everyone goes oh kanye everyone goes to kanye right Oh, I don't like Kanye and stuff. I'm like, yeah, what do you think about his music? I'm like, I don't know about that. I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> I'm usually kind of person like, I like his music. What he does outside of that is like, eh. There's definitely exceptions where it's kind of like you might feel. Wait, what is it? Oh, that's fine. Um, the, I totally lost my train of thought. But anyways, uh, yeah, I, I try and separate the art from the artist type thing. That looks fine. What if we can kind of recolor it a little bit or reshade it? I don't like how it does this. Like, why does the color that I select here not come up here? So then I'm like not able to redo the shade. You know what I mean? Like, this is a weird bug that just started happening after. I don't know, actually, it's been happening for a while. Like, yeah, I want to take this, I want to take this color and I want to shade it down, but I can't because it makes it green. Like, what the f I 
And even if you click this, it doesn't... Okay, so we have to go take the color, copy it, right? And then if I control V and hit enter, will it go to it? No, it doesn't. Let me start the building over. Go like this, go like this, and then it's still there. God damn it! <laughs> like, why, why you do this, Planet Zoo? I just want to, I just want to simply do a simple thing. I simply want to do a simple thing. In Planet Coaster, it was cool because we used to be able to click this little thing here, and it would, like, zap the color back to whatever it was. Like, if we do this, wait, maybe, maybe it'll do it there. There, I did it. Okay, so that's the way you get around the system. Got it. Yeah, change the color to something completely. Yeah, and then switch it back. Gotcha. So we have to game the system. <laughs> we have to, we have to game it a little bit. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Sure, you can separate. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, training videos, podcasts, set up for horses on the internet it became huge. Now trainers are celebrities. It's odd. Well, that happened with a lot of stuff, didn't it? I mean, shoot, what landscape companies or like landscape shows? <laughs> uh, what's the one I always think of? Or not just landscape, but uh, house renovation shows? Uh, Chip and Joanne, right? Everyone loves Chip and Joanne. At least in the States, it seems like. Chip and Joanne Games. Everyone loves them. But it's like without that show, you know, they would have just been, you know, whoever mon pa owning shop owner number 6781 <laughs> with really nice personalities you know but they happen to get a spotlight on them and yeah there's a lot of i mean shoot who would have thought that um what's that what's that show called the pawn stars you know a bunch of sleazebag pawn stars would have became stars of a, of a show and stuff like that and kind of american celebrities a little bit you know it's just yeah internet and everything has really made the world weird in a for a good way <laughs> in a good way i was talking to my friends about that the other day um we always you ever have a, you have a group of friends that like you just know you're gonna get into like kind of philosophical debates or just you're gonna have kind of a deeper conversation that's that's this group of friends and we were talking about like whether the internet is a good thing or, or has it been a good thing or has it been a bad thing and there's really good arguments on both sides and i agree with kind of both of them to be honest with you i kind of agree with all of it um and i can see the merit for all of them but we did agree that, like ultimately that it was a good thing it brought a lot of a lot more good than negative um let me switch the music real quick i just realized the music ended silence is never fun yeah one of my uh, one of the Friends, he was like really adamant though about like no, like if we didn't have it, we wouldn't have had like you know all this spread of blah 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 and uh, society wouldn't be like cr crumbling. Like he's kind of a doomer. Where he's like society's crumbling and we can't be saved and it's the internet's fault. It's like I mean okay, buddy, just it's it's it'll be okay. And I might be a little bit of an optimist with it because I've I've been uh, fortunate to uh, fortunate enough to kind of like grow up with the internet essentially. You know, I was born in '89, so I literally my generation grew up with the internet being a part of our life. You know, we were the first generation to have that be a thing. So I I still remember the MySpace days and the AOL days, like the the Wild West of the internet. So there may be a piece of me that has like um, I guess you call it like nostalgia for like the old internet. When it was like really fun, like when YouTube was starting out, E-Bombs World, and just all that different kind of stuff. Um, is the music on? So I'll definitely admit that I might have some nostalgia for like older internet, because like today's internet and older, like early 2000s uh, internet is totally different. So I may have just some, some member berries about that going on. But yeah, I think even with like, yeah, what you said, go around with like the, the politics and all that other, you know, the grown-ups basically infested the internet finally, is, is how I put it. The grown-ups came in and made it not fun anymore. I, even with all that, I, I still think it's a good uh, force for good and has resulted in a lot more good than negative. Where's the... Um, oh, here it is. Jeez, going crazy. But people always like to focus on, but it's, it's much easier too, isn't it? I'm definitely um, guilty of that. Focusing on negative rather than positive. I'm definitely guilty of that. I try not to be. I really try not to be.
How's D and D going? Miss uh, Sunday's episode. It's going really well. We um, are really heavy in some. Uh, actually, no, leave that there. We'll have door, door, door. We're really heavy in some uh, RP or roleplay episodes these last few weeks, which I don't mind. I like doing combat in D and D, and it's definitely, I think, from a watcher's point of view or viewer's point of view. Excuse me, watchers. Um, I think it's a lot more entertaining. But I really enjoy doing RP. So yeah, we got really far last night. Um, and I don't want to give too much away because I feel like you'll watch it throughout the week, maybe. So I'll let you just watch the YouTube episode as it comes up. <laughs> right, and that, that's, I always put that, um, that's a good example, Domez. I use that and my college program, my Disney, working at Disney World. I would never have worked at Disney World and met people from Germany, England, China, uh, who I still stay in contact with today, <clears throat> you know, if it wasn't for finding out about the, again, the college program through the internet um, and YouTube. I mean, shoot, I don't even know what, this sounds like almost depressing, but it's not meant to be. But like, I don't know like what I would be doing without doing YouTube every so often or like getting onto Discord and talking to, you know, like S Dan or getting a, a Moen from Domez and the crew over on the Bro Nation Discord. It's just like, you know, it's just become part of a daily routine for life kind of thing. No, I'll just take this over. Yeah, definitely, Troy. Check it out. It was a longer one too last night. I think we went for like almost three hours. So, yeah. Kangathong just happened. That would never have happened without the internet and a load of animals would have most likely starved. Yeah. That was so cool that we raised like $1,500 more than we were supposed to or something like that. That was seriously so great. So great. That's a good point, Domez, yeah. The internet's so broad now. I mean, you can associate the internet not just with Google or YouTube, which are both the same thing, ironically enough. Um, but yeah, social media. Well, and that's even the thing, too, like I was kind of uh, talking about earlier, where I might have a bit of, like, rose-colored glasses on for social media. Well, and I've also gotten rid of a lot of my social media. Like, my social media is what you all see me post on Twitter and me on Discord. That's the only social media I'm on. I'll scroll through Reddit, but I don't post on it. Um, I don't have Facebook. I haven't had Facebook in over a year now, except for Messenger. I've, if you count having Messenger as having Facebook, then yes, I do have Facebook. But I have Messenger again to uh, talk to those uh, international friends from the college program. So, uh, People from Germany, which the German lives in Saudi Arabia now, funnily enough. Um, but yeah, I don't like actually engage on social media. Um, so I don't think I see a lot of the full effects of it that a lot of people do, like the depression and, you know, doom scrolling and stuff like that. Because um, yeah, I just, I, <laughs> I don't think that this is going to sound really mean and whatever if it does it does i don't think anyone's that interesting that they need to let us know what the hell's going on in their life i really don't like even celebrities and stuff i don't care that you ate a you know cheese sandwich for lunch um and that's kind of why i got rid of it. it was just one day i was scrolling through facebook and like one of my old you know like that old high school quote unquote friend that you haven't talked to in years and you're just like i don't care what's going on in your life? <laughs> it's like, I think I was just like really overwhelmed with like work and like I had a lot of social stuff going on and I just saw some post by someone I was like, I literally give negative shits about what is happening on this website at this moment. I don't need it. It's just adding stress to my life. I'm getting rid of it and I'm not doing the social media thing anymore. And I didn't, I stopped. And again, the only thing I really do is on Twitter and Discord, and most Twitter stuff I post about YouTube and Discord, I'm usually just shooting the shit with uh, you all or, you know, Estan and Savannah and uh, everyone like that, so. And I can't recommend it enough. Like, it's not for everyone, you know, obviously a lot of people really love doing um, social media and all that kind of fun stuff. But man, if you've been thinking about getting rid of social media, just do it. I, I really don't know the benefit. And ever since getting rid of it, like, I'm happier. I'm happier with my family. 
because I, I don't know that my uncle is like you know a raging uh, racist you know misogynist anymore um you just don't need to know that much about people i think is what, is what it really comes down to you just really don't need to know that much information about uh people if it's that if, if something is that interesting someone will call you and let you know about the interesting thing going on in their life that's kind of my philosophy like if it's that important you have my phone number and you will let me know if it is if you don't have my phone number and it's important the news will let me know <laughs> but other than that i don't need to know every little thing going on with acquaintances thank you for joining my ted talk <laughs> hey what's up sawdust yeah it's it's only based on negative stuff yes it absolutely is Okay, Domez, no worries, buddy. I'm glad that you uh, you let me know or else I'm like, what did I do? <laughs> Looks like OBS will do the trick for me once. I oh, good. Yeah, it's really good at um, not hanging up your frame rates and stuff because that's your, yeah, you're having compression and frame rate issues, right? Yeah, it's pretty good at that. We have a, a couple hobby groups plus my own business and that's fair. Yeah, if you have, you know, hobbies and all that fun stuff, like I said, that's totally understandable. Um... Like I, like I said, I have um, Messenger for Facebook still technically to talk to uh, international friends. But other than that, yeah, I, tr I really just try not to um, do anything with it like that. <laughs> yeah, like there you go. Exactly, Harry. Right. Uh, get a newsfeed blocker so you only see like your groups, not every uh, ignorant thought everyone has. Yeah, well, that's, that's cool. I never knew that those were a thing. Because there's definitely some groups on... Uh, different things that I was following that sucks not to be a part of, but eh. It was kind of one of the outweighed the uh, good from the bad, and I was like, nah, don't need it. Don't need it. And really, Facebook was the main one that I found that I would just be on there and, you know, I just see, like, the worst of the worst. And kind of like what Bold was saying, it's, it's partially my fault because I would react to it. And that's what they want you to do is they want you to sit there because when you're on there and I, th I bet you all saw the same documentary I did. I can't remember the name of it, but yeah, but when you're on there, a timer starts, right? Um, a timer starts for how long you look at a certain thing. And then if you click it, you know, another thing will happen where it's like, oh, hey, they click this. They really like this. Make sure to load up more. You know, if you happen to be stuck on um, a, a political news article and it leans, you know, a certain left or right, they're like, oh, hey. They're sitting here reading this for 10 minutes, five minutes. And oh, hey, they just commented. And, hey, they're getting in an argument with someone over this article. Make sure that we recommend more of this because they are staying on here and that's all we care about. And yeah, that's not good. That, that's not healthy. That's not healthy to do that. Just to, again, that's why I keep saying it's doom scrolling, right? Because that's literally all it is. It's just going through and scrolling no, I want the smaller one. Um, scrolling, looking for things to piss you off. <laughs> and it's not healthy to do that at all. It's not healthy to do that. No, yeah, I'll leave that there. That's fine. I think I've gotten more than uh, one or two sales in two years off of Facebook. Oh, really? Uh, Marketplace isn't doing it for you? Huh. One of my uh, grandma's friends, I believe it was, she made a freaking killing selling. Uh, she was into knitting and she started to make masks when the uh, pandemic first started. Whoops, I didn't want to do that. But yeah, she started uh, doing the mask thing when it first started uh, before a lot of other people did. She was on it, like right when the, everything started locking down. She's like, oh, I'm going to start making. And she made so much money. I think she had to get like her kids or she had to hire someone to like start uh, shipping everything out for and stuff. And I just, I've heard when you said Facebook uh, marketplace is selling stuff on Facebook, I always think of her like she's one of the only ones I know that really just knocked it out of the park with that. I need to use the bigger letter here. Oh, but they're 3D. I don't really like the 3D. I guess this works. How big is this? Too big! I 
I know I saw it on Facebook. Yeah, and my wife also got rid of it too. She didn't right away, but um, my wife did get rid of Facebook after a while. Um, and we find it's like so much. I, this sounds terrible English, but it's so much better to like, yeah, find out about things not constantly in the moment. You know, like, hey, did you hear about this going on? Or you saw this on Facebook? Nope, I sure didn't. But you can tell me about it now. and We'll have a nice little talk about it. And I'm not going to sound like a, a Facebook or YouTube comment section because I'm not going to be influenced by what everyone else already said on the article. Because I saw that a lot, too. I started to feel like I was never having a conversation with anyone whenever I would talk to someone about something that happened on Facebook or a news article you saw on Facebook. People just regurgitate what they see in the comment sections as if they're having an original thought. And it's like, which is funny because usually those same people are the ones that call other people sheep, but they're just repeating what they saw on the news channel or what they saw in the comment section of their favorite, <laughs> you know, blog post or whatever, Reddit community. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I started to realize that no one was having conversations with each other and they were just being like parrots. They were being birds, just um, regurgitating whatever their favorite YouTuber or <laughs> uh, news correspondents uh, was saying. And it's like, damn, dude. Y'all need to just unplug, stick your face out in the outside, and breathe. That's kind of like how I felt after I got rid of Facebook for after like a week or something. I was like, this is cool, man. This is cool. I'm not like constantly needing, like having the need to open my phone and check it and stuff. I mean, I still check my phone. I'm not trying to sound like I'm some freaking social media saint or anything. <laughs> you know, I'll sit there on Reddit and Twitter and Discord for hours on end, but so I'm not getting rid of Facebook. There's just a little bit like a, whew, that feels good. <laughs> yeah, right, Megan, where that starts to happen, you're like, I don't even, like, I'm not talking to you. I'm trying to talk to my, like you said, a family member or a friend or whatever. And you're just like, I'm, why, why are you even butting your face or your nose in here right now? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> And I think it would always take a matter of two messages for people on opposing sides of like an argument to go into to personal attacks. They would it would have like someone would say an original thing that would make another person butthurt. That person would be like, no, and I disagree with you, and here's why. And then the other the original person would come back and personal attack. Or the other person would come back and actually do a rebuttal, and then the original poster to that person, personal attack. And it's like, can y'all like are we cavemen? <laughs> Dude, you know that we have brains and like vocal cords and advanced uh, language. And y'all just like de-evolve into the equivalent of cavemen throwing their shit at each other after like two sentences. Like no one knows how to talk without degrading or, you know, they, it, it I don't know. Anyways, I'm going off to like a whole boomer type thing now anyways look at me go it's monday how y'all doing <laughs> it's monday <laughs> happy monday sir so would have facebook to start the shutdown <laughs> again yeah i you know i'm not gonna sit here to advocate for you know y'all to do any of that kind of stuff but if, if you've been thinking about it for a while and you're like yeah you know what it probably is a good idea it's probably a good idea is probably a good idea i just i didn't for me again personally i just didn't see the benefit i didn't see the personal benefit that i was gaining all i knew yeah that's that's that was the big thing i knew that facebook was profiting off me for my data that i was willingly and openly giving to them for free right but what was i getting out of it pissed off you know and just addicted to it and it just it didn't make any sense to me anymore it just for me personally it just didn't really make um any sense for me to keep giving them my data and my monies and all that for really nothing in return. And again, I'd argue that when social media first started, like MySpace days, dude, it was so fun. Like getting your top eight and then pissing off Becky the next Monday at school because you took her out of your top 50. Yeah, we had top 50s, by the way, everyone, because we could mod our MySpace pages to however we wanted to. We didn't look like mindless autonomous robots like Facebook does. <laughs> we had a personality uh, with with MySpace. That was something that we talked about with the group um, of 
internet being bad and good or whatever. Uh, yeah, we were talking about how we miss MySpace and being able to personalize our accounts and not all everyone, everyone's the same. Everyone's, the, no one's different. Look at we're all the same. No one has a personality. It's like, ugh. Ugh. Oopsie, nope, not bad. Yeah, those of you that never used MySpace back in the day, man, y'all missed out. I'm just gonna be straight up. Like, MySpace was the shit. MySpace was the shit, dude. We could put our own custom music on there that we were listening to. I'm not talking like reposting. I mean, we could go into the back end of our MySpace page and like copy and paste. I felt like a, a hacker. I like legit felt like a hacker with MySpace. Yeah, you go into the back end, open it up, start to copy and paste in like, oh, I want Frazzle Dazzles to like fall down. Oh, I want a shooting star to go off every three seconds or oh, I need to have, you know, I need to have Alkaline Trio, Thrice, Under Oath, and a little Sum 41 playing on my music player. And my background is gonna be hot pink and my font's gonna be Comic Sans. <laughs> yeah, you could personalize the whole thing though. <clears throat> and then Facebook, everyone, you look white with a really boring as fuck modernist layout. No character. We can't have character here. Blech. <laughs> there we go. What do you let me do? They're letting me rant today, S Dan, okay? Just let me talk. <laughs> hey, what's up, Zoo Empire? How you doing? I'm building. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you what I'm building. I build this. That's looking pretty good, right? Bam, bam. Let me get the let me get the right angle on it. So it'd be like this. Bam, bam. Like that. Bam. Bam, bam. I like it. I like it. My reference photo back over there. Bam, cool. What about personal? Oh, before MySpace? Right. I remember like personal blog spaces that you get too for those websites? Oh man. Yeah, MIDI songs. Exactly. Uh, MySpace and Horseland is why all millennials uh, became graphic designers. Exactly. We, we were able to do some simple stuff like that. And we're like, yo. I bet some old people would buy this crap for me. And guess what? They did. They did. <laughs> oh, MSN Messenger? I never used MSN. My mom did. My mom was on MSN Men uh, Messenger, and then I was up on uh, AOL. Hi, what's your AOL username? Remember when you had an away message for, a uh, for AOL? Oh, it was great. Whenever someone try and message you, I'm not here, bitch. I'll message you back when I feel like it. But right now I'm in my feels. No, wait, wrong time period. It would be more like, but right now I'm bringing sexy back. So I'll get back to you later, bye. Mm. No, a little bit longer. Do 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 do. Yo, Nick, what's happening? Uh, isn't it a franchise or something? By the way, it's super good because I can barely build. Hey, cheers. Appreciate that, buddy. No, this is um, called Beyond Wolf Nature Preserve, which is a sandbox project. I'm not even going to call it a zoo. This is just a project that myself and SD and Wolf have been building on for uh, basically since the pandemic started um, a little while ago. But yeah, we've just been coming in here and doing what's called bar mill builds. So if you type in bar mill and go to Google Images, you'll see a lot of like model train buildings come up. Um, and yeah, we've just been doing a lot of fun builds, uh, modeling after these bar mills um, and kind of coming up with this little town and an industry area. And yeah, just kind of having fun building. 
Do, 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 do. Used MSN when you asked a girl out for the first time? Goron, you absolute chump, you. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Bill, uh, yeah, what's up there, Lion Rider? How you doing, buddy? He has the same picture on their Facebook page, and it's uh, their legs and feet by the pool laying on a sun lounger with a glass of dry white or gin and tonic. There you go. It's the... It's the dream. Me being too young for MS, uh, the messenger. Yeah, we're talking about a lot of early 2000s stuff. We were. <laughs> oh no, it's not big enough. It's fine. Actually, let's take that one back. You guys been on an online app? Did you really? Bro, that's kind of awesome though. Do, 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 do. Zeus? I do remember Zeus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't really use a lot of them. I didn't use um, Tinder, didn't use that one, didn't use uh, Bumble. I do remember Zeus though, I do remember that one. Farmersonly.com <laughs> Did you really saw this? That's awesome. But on uh, Plenty of Fish, yeah, Plenty of Fish, I remember that one too, yep. Interesting. Alright, so we have that, we have that, we have that. What else do we need to do? Uh, oh, the uh, we have the sign. Oh yeah, I want to put... Uh, something behind the sign so that we can see it a little bit better. Where the heck are the... Where the heck fires the plaster piece on the wall? It's right, it's right there. Actually, why don't we just do this? There we go. Work smarter, not harder. Am I right? Am I right or am I right? Am I right? Oh, hey, uh, S-Dork. People have been requesting that we do another movie night here soon. Now, I do remember we said we were going to do a, a summer movie, at least one or two of them. Maybe the Jurassic, like Jurassic Park was talked about. Maybe some Ghostbusters or... I don't know, there's something that's like summer movie, right? But yeah, I've, I've heard a few people requesting. Requesting for us to do another movie night. And I told him, I was like, that's up to S. Dan. I can't do anything without his approval, so. We'll see what he says. No, it was not. <laughs> Would you hit this? <laughs> Now let's do a, a wooden one. How about grinder? Wasn't that the um, the one for homosexuals, right? Or am I thinking of a different one? Because everyone that was always the butt end of the joke for a while. Like, oh, would you get your new date? And you find him on grinder? <laughs> Gotta head off to work for a little bit there. For a closing shift, wish me luck. Uh, our shake machine isn't working. We're having to make all of our shakes the old fashioned way. Oof, you're gonna be buff when you get home. Good luck, have a good shift, Becca. We'll talk to you later. I wear the shark costume. Do, 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 do. Wear the shark costume. Do, 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 do. Wear the shark costume. Do, 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 do. Wear the shark costume. Do, 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 do.
you call your sandwiches great <laughs> or something that was confusing um so it's part of my stand up act i used to do uh, about dating apps and say i thought grinder was where we find all yeah right you're like i went on this app y'all said you had grinders on here but all i could find was <laughs> that's funny Do 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 do. How are we doing for time? Oh, look at that. It's only two fifteen, everyone. And y'all were worried. And you were all worried. Cool. There's that. There's that. Let's bring this over as well. And one more. Give it different shades here as well. There we go. Cool. All right, so we have stairs, we have that. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. So we need to put some detail work on the dock here. <clears throat> Do this side with the emergency escape and then the roof. Um, there's a little bit of detail work on the roof and then that's pretty much it for this building. Then we can plop it down and see what's going on. <laughs> shorter board that's yeah, all right with we'll a stick it in the ground that's all right i would have to click and look for it and stuff i'm pretty lazy like that when it comes to building like yeah like here i know there's like a really short board that doesn't stick down but i didn't want to go click on it so i'm pretty lazy when it comes to that. I'm like ah screw it <laughs> i probably say that more when i'm building and like not streaming or recording than i'd like to admit i go ah fuck it it looks fine <laughs> <laughs> the uh the patented ah fuck it method really made famous from mass bandit and mike sheets there the ah we're done <laughs> screw it we're done <laughs> all right on the side here so let's see catfish another one of your friends on tinder we invited him to coffee shop and said i'm the girl in yellow hoodie with a Americanism, little do you know it was a friend in. Oh, that's so mean! <laughs> that's so mean, Harry. Um, okay, where's the. Uh, I think I have stairs saved. Yes. yes, 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 yes. Oh, no, these are different. What are these? Modular maintenance stairs. Oh, from Creative Games. I, this isn't what I was looking for, but I totally forgot that he made, or they made this awesome set here. So yeah, I will always shout out Creative Games for their YouTube and for their uh, just building stuff. But yeah, Creative Games coming through in the clutch with awesome set already made for us for maintenance series. A little bit more modern, but I think once we, <clears throat> excuse me, once we kind of swamp it up, you know, put some foliage work on it and stuff, it might look a little bit better. It might not work out, actually, now that I'm putting it up here, it might not work out. But regardless, it's still on it exceptionally great build and they're always putting out really handy stuff like this to use this is the school of good enough around here that's right that's right you wanna you wanna over overachieve that's that's ain't your this ain't the school for you We need a C equivalent here. Now, you know what? These look awesome, and y'all should still get it if you have more of a modern zoo, but it's not going to work out for what we're doing here. That's not going to work out. So let me try and build this a bit custom using definitely the Australia pack with its rusty pipes and all that fun stuff. Make the girders less bright color. I mean, that's an idea too. I mean, if we can, let me see how what it's like to uh, recolor. Oh yeah, you're right. There are girders. I don't know why I thought that was like a lot more of a piece. Where's the, oh, where's the Frank? How how uh, wide is this? Frank, 
There you are. Yeah, you know what, Bold? That's not a bad idea. That's not bad, because this is a lot thinner than I thought it was. Cool. Yep. Good call. We'll do that. We'll do that. Just save me a whole lot of building. <laughs> and I might replace some of the pieces out with rusty parts as well. Yes, yeah, exactly, Bold, yep. Exactly. All right, that's good. Do that, and then... Oh, but we don't have a two-meter version of the uh, fence, do we? Or do we? Wait. Door. That's okay. We'll just have this lining... Not the whole thing. Oh, you know what we can do? I forgot. Now it's smaller. Bingo. Bongo. And one more over here. Yeah, we'll make this work out. Cool. All right. Um, what are these that you use here? Oh, those are perfect because we can recolor them. There we go. Yeah, you want to come over here and click it for me too? <laughs> We'll just let, we'll let Bold take over. <laughs> Hell, that might be kind of fun, actually. That's kind of a fun stream idea overall. Thinking about it, like, just do a whole backseat chat builder, or building, where everyone, like, concisely agrees upon, okay, use this piece, and then put it, th you know, <laughs> might real work out. Noise. <laughs> Is that what it calls? Oh yeah, Twitch Plays, right. Yeah, Twitch Plays Planet Zoo. Hell, if Jaunty and them can do it for D&D, &D, we could figure out how to do it for Planet Zoo, right? Now, I think I'm actually gonna get rid of just all of this section up here. Not that. And just redo it a little bit. A Bob Ross tutorial for a 3D modeling software. That's cool. Could be fun to do with uh, some people in Planet Zoo. That's actually really fun. We had someone in Planet Coaster that was like that. Um, he literally would put a Bob Ross wig on and like the sunglasses and everything and uh, live stream with him doing like nature scapes and stuff like that. What was his name? Shoot. Anyways. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let me put the roof on here so we can see what we're working with. I saw that the new big thing that a lot of people are getting into, um, I think Rudy was the first one to kind of start doing it, uh, the diorama builds, which I've been wanting to do that for a little bit too. I just didn't really know how to go about it. Um, but in Parkitect, you all remember Parkitect? They, they've been doing diorama builds in Parkitect now for a while and they turn out so fucking, or so stinking good looking. Try not to swear as much. Um, but yeah, they turned out so, so cool looking. So, um, yeah, I saw Leaf did one this morning, and, uh, yeah, I know that Rudy also did one, but yeah, I thought that'd be kind of cool to do a diorama type thing. A drunk zoo! Maybe that'll be one of the community zoos that we do. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. 
All right, so down here we need a landing. Um, and I think we'll go back to the Australia set. And build it out of... Oh, you know what? I totally forgot that we have chain link fence pieces. Duh. Uh, uh, duh. Oh, actually, maybe not. I might actually use the Australia fence instead. Oh, didn't I have that favorited? Oh, did you need two? Gotcha. What's up, sweetie? All right, so I need this to connect to the building. Which actually looks like it already is. Ooh. Oh yeah, no, never mind, it totally is. Okay, cool. That is connected there. Uh, now we need some... Railings, there we go. You guys convinced us to stream in Dutch? I can't wait to hear that. Yeah, they, they do look like a fun build. I think it'd be pretty cool. Try and do one. That's a good charity stream. Bunch of creators. Screen share. Uh, people donate to buy drinks or... Oh my gosh. And the zoos just get worse and worse or better and better. Like pool. I get better and better when I play pool drunk. Oh, whoops, whoops, whoops. I have this all connected to a same structure. Didn't mean to do that. What is this doing? Deselect it. Thank you. <laughs> do 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 Finally, all right, separate that. Thank you. And then this one will start off here. Um, da, da, da. Does this building need such an elaborate fire escape? It's not really elaborate. It's more so just like a pretty uh, typical like New York fire escape. Um, and I don't know. We might end up looking at it at the end and deciding we don't like it, but <clears throat> I know that the reference photo has uh, has one of these fire escapes, so I yeah, may as well try it out, right? See what we get out of it. Because actually, yeah, no, as of right now, I don't really like it. As of right now, it's not, I'm not really sold on it. <clears throat> so it's definitely uh, on the chopping block. Definitely, definitely on the chopping block. Oh, 
Oh, I see. I need to actually scoot this over by one, and then that'll work out a lot better. Okay, let's do that, actually. I don't know why it has an issue with these two. It, like, it really doesn't want... Oh, you fucker. It really doesn't want to um, let me select those. Or deselect them, I should say. Yeah, it's just this one. It's like, uh-uh. I will never let go. It's the Titanic of roof pieces right now. Just, just, I'm, just, thank you. No. Let go. <laughs> what, why is this one so, there we go. So that's separate, that's separate, that's separate. Yes, now let's take all of these and move you down just a smidge. Of course, the 3D axis is messed up. <laughs> he de uh, demolished it in a fit. Yeah, I've, be I've been there before. It's like, fuck it. <laughs> Starting over now. Sometimes it's good to do that, though. <laughs> Demonetize. No, it's okay. We're over an hour into the stream. So we're good. YouTube isn't listening anymore. Okay, then we need, what, like one more level. Yeah, one more level will be good. How we doing there, uh, Reaper? Hope you're having a good one. Welcome on in. You delete 90 people off your friends list on Facebook. Wow, nice. Just people here are like, yeah, I'm, I'm not talking to you. Or something like that, yeah, oh, I hear you. You don't, no we don't, we don't need one more. We don't need one more. This will be the last one. So now this, you take another one of these. Start it right here. Banging song. Whoa, we got a big old blue thing. Facebook counseling session. There you go. That's right. I charge three dollars per session, and I guarantee by the end of it, you will delete Facebook friends. <laughs> nice. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. And hopefully, a little bit of a what's the word for it? cleansing i guess hopefully the cleansing is good for the soul <laughs> let's get some hearts and claps and everything in uh in chat for sawdust being awesome and donating there always appreciate that look at that this little detail that absolutely nobody is going to see i went ahead and did it anyways Yes, have I spoken to you in the past? That's a good one to do it. Yeah, I think that's a good one to do it. Absolutely. Thanks, everyone, for the claps and everything there. Hell yeah. Yeah, I think that was about what mine was. or And then I had a few people in mind who I was just like, okay, I've been waiting long enough. <laughs> it's been long enough. Time to pull the trigger on this one. So now I'm wondering, hold on, if we take this and make this elongated by one more? That might make it look a little bit more sense.
And then this one we can go back down to one. Don't lie to everyone like that, Estian. Estian's a liar. He really doesn't like turtles, everyone. He likes tortoises. <gasps> I called you out. Thanks, buddy, for the fiver. Appreciate you. As always. <laughs> Let's get some hearts and claps in chat for S Dork there. Doing the awesome thing. S Dan and Sawdust. We got the two S names. Going the extra mile. <laughs> Thanks, buddies. Do, 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 do. I love it. There's the there's the hearts and the turtles. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everyone's got the turtles, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so that's kinda it. I'm not sure if I'm sold on it yet or not. Just because there's nothing else around it. And I know that it might look good when we put foliage and stuff around it. But as of right now, it just looks a little, a little wonky to me. So yeah, let's, let's do the foliage bit first before... Making our final choice. Whoops. It looks bad? Yeah, it doesn't look good, does it? And it's because I didn't build a custom one. The ones that are in the reference photo, it would look a lot better if I wanted to take the time to build that. But, um, I don't. <laughs> I don't. It's a lot skinnier, and it looks like a, a, a ladder more so than, like, this. Alright, I'm going to do myself due diligence and still put foliage around it, but... Oh, they're not called vines, it's called ivy. That's right, I always confuse the ivy and the vines. No, it looks stupid. Um, okay, let's go and get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Boom! Yeah, if we wanted to, um, it's the swamp. Well, there's bad. There's stuff looking. That's that's the. <laughs> there's stuff looking bad, just looking bad, and then there's bad good. Just like there's bad good movies, um, and then the opposite of that as well. If we wanted to do it, I probably would have built it out of oh i have australia i would have built the stairs and everything out of this and we would have done a circle and it would have taken forever but yeah i would have probably gone like this for like a cage oh uh, maybe it won't take forever i'm just gonna build it real quick watch <laughs> That's too small. I gotta fit a Frank through there. All right, it's, ju it's just small enough. It's just too small. It looks super small, but it's honestly not too far off. It, it has to be an itty bitty tube to hold the ladder. <laughs> well, I'm sure Goran does fart, but we're not selling Goran's farts at this at this building, so we're not into that here, Goran. <laughs> no kink shaming, but <laughs> does that fit a person? I think that might fit a person. Just barely.
Ooh. I'm not going to make this now, but I am going to put it off for... Well, what am I talking about? I may, I may as well try to make it now. I'm already going this far. I'm just looking at it and like, man, it might not be a good stream build. It might be a good off stream build. And like an off stream build is something that like, like for example, th this whole thing, this is all an off stream build, right? And it's something that I can't just sit there in one session and get a lot of it done or anything like that. I, I am constantly, when I'm building or have Planet Zoo up, I'm constantly getting up and down and going and doing something else or just taking some time away or, you know, going scrolling through Discord or something like that. It's rare that I sit through and just build. Like, the times I build on stream are like the longest times I'll sit there and just straight through build. So that's why a lot of times I'm like, eh, I'm not gonna build this on stream. <laughs> Cause I just know that I won't make it through. There we go. There we go. So that is what would be the tube for it. Oh, you know what? Actually, take away a few of these. No, don't. No, no, even that looks weird. Nah, fuck it. <laughs> I'm giving this project the old nope. I'm giving it the nope. We'll put a sign on the side of the building or something instead. Actually, no, we won't. We'll put, um, oops, gotta fix this roof first. We'll put uh, some AC units going down it. Some of Domez's pieces. So there's that. Let's go to blueprints. Find the was it aircon units? <clears throat> yep, there they are. A Ziploc bag with the air from NBA Finals 2020 goes for like twelve thousand USD. No, it did not. And how can they prove that? Is there a video of them taking that bag and like? pushing it through the NBA final and then sealing it up. And do I get that video to confirm that it's real? Also, I'm technically breathing the same air that was in the NBA finals 2020 game. So am I worth $12,000 because I have that same air in my lungs? Rich people are so stupid. <laughs> like the stuff that they spend their money on. It's just like, what, <laughs> like, what the fuck? Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> out of 10. Well, I guess I can't be that stupid because they have $12,000 to spend on air. But they are chumps. <laughs> they just have enough money to justify being chumps, I guess. <laughs> oh, there are smaller ones. Yeah, let's use the smaller ones. Yeah, let's, there we go. When building, I sometimes just get up and leave for uh, for two hours. Yeah, just come back and feel reinvigorated with it. Just gotta take a second.
you. Okay. Change the color of that. <laughs> yeah, you're not too far off, Harry. <laughs> yeah, I, I just, I don't, I can't imagine having that much money saved up where, I, where you're just like, yeah, you know what? You know what? I think, I think I'm going to spend my hard-earned money on this bag of air. That seems like a sensible investment. Where was the bathwater? Remember, yeah, the bathwater thing, right? With the Twitch streamers, they were taking baths and <laughs> selling it, I guess. Oh god, this is way off. Holy cow. Why is that like that? That's weird. So again, yeah, I'll just I'll just very firmly say that what the fuck? rich people are just have some really bad taste. Just just horrendous. <laughs> It was from Kobe's last game, but it's real. Just looked it up. Wow. <sighs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Not sure if I should be proud that uh, that was started by someone from your own country. That's okay. They don't represent the whole country, right? They don't represent the whole country. I'm from the States, man. There's plenty of examples of uh, knuckleheads from, from my uh, country as well, but... I hope that everyone doesn't think that every single American is, you know, like all the knuckleheads. And if so, that's that's stupid to think like that. That's dumb. Let's see. Easy builder bathwater. Dang it, how'd you know? I've had that in the works for a while now, man. It's gonna be a surprise for y'all, then try to ruin it. <laughs> Yup, exactly. Exactly, Domez. Um, this can actually come down a little bit further. Oh, 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 whoops. I didn't realize those were connected. There we go. Okay, so now we can take all this and actually move it closer to the building. It's kind of out in floaters land right now. One more that kind of dips down and then goes into the building. Okay. That, and then we need uh, one that dips down. Sure. Hey, what's up, Jake? How's your day going, buddy? We're having a good one. Welcome on into the swamp as we're doing some more swamp building fun for a little while longer. Welcome to the 3D axis giving me 
grief. I think it's because I'm not on the world axis. I just I just remembered that. Shoot. I didn't check to put this on the world axis before building. So all of the 3D axis stuff is all borked because of it. I mean, like, the whole building is not on the world axis, so... Psh. Psh, 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 psh. Wait. How's this go? That's fine. It's, it's good enough. All right, then this basically runs the length of the building before kind of shooting into the building. And these are kind of things you're not going to be able to see, so it's not too, too important. go i guess you can kind of see it hanging off the side of the building at least but again up top there from the guest perspective you don't really see any of that stuff it's fine we're done absolutely not <laughs> with the project no with the building we're like 80 percent done i think i'll give us a solid 80 percent Again, going much faster because of your uh, awesome set here, Domez. So useful. The only um, states you hear of on UK news, at least, are Florida. Because Florida, man, of course. California because of LA and New York because of the, the NYC. Yeah, yeah. You also get news about Washington, too. Yeah, well, what else is there, I guess, right? That, that, that sums it up. That's the entire US <laughs> right there. Just, just miss that entire middle section of the US. There's nothing going on there. There's nothing going on in Chicago, St. Louis. Detroit. <laughs> I mean, I kind of get it. You know, if you're covering an international country, you're kind of hitting the the best of series in LA, New York, Washington. Yeah, those are all kind of the hubs of news and stuff. But dang. No love for Chicago in there. Oh, yeah, the heat wave going on. Which, again, like... I feel I feel a little bad because got friends out west living in uh, Northern California and it's just like boiling hot there like things are on fire and I'm just like yeah we've had like the most temperate summer that we've had in a long time and I'm not like one of those people who's like yeah well, where I'm at it's cold so that means that climate change is fake it snows in the winter time so climate change is a real dummies no I'm not like one of those dudes but it is just kind of weird that like we're having the most mild temperate summer ever like it's 70s fahrenheit almost every single day here um but yeah the rest of the country is like on fire so i guess everyone where your states are on fire come on down to illinois the midwest <laughs> where we're not on fire and we don't have any oceans and so when the ice caps melt then you know our cities won't be underwater so come on down to the midwest <laughs> we're good to go you know most of the states go all 50 right now can i name all of them yeah i can name all of them. the east coast gets a little muddled because they they uh, really slammed a bunch of states together when the country first started so like delaware pennsylvania 
Um, just like all those east east coast states are just all like like really small weird shapes and just again like smushed together. Oh, have you really, Troy? It hasn't been too bad this year. Yeah, um, yeah. Just again, I know that the West Coast and Southwest and different areas like that have just been atrocious for heat. But yeah, no, we've I, my windows are open right now. You know. Lake George. Where's that at, uh, Sadas? I've heard of that lake before, but what, what part of, uh, yeah, what part is that in? Um, but yeah, no, I have my windows open right now because it's so mild. And I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's, you know, another record breaking day in like Arizona or something like that. That's why there's a difference between weather and climate, right? That's always the part that confuses the. The deniers like, wait, there's a difference between weather and climate. Yes, yes, they are not the same thing. <laughs> you can name all 50 states in under two minutes and all 197 countries in under 10 minutes for what, uh, what a, a level in geography gets you. There you go. I mean, you know, if you're ever on like, who wants to be a millionaire, then... That might be nice to know. <laughs> Rhode Island is a state, yes. A very sm the smallest one, but we still we still accept it. We still accept it. <laughs> the only states that I think people in the United States universally. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, usually agree on that you can get rid of her. Sometimes like Florida and sometimes uh, California. It seems like those two, at least internally, domestically, people are usually like, oh, Florida, could you just like, bro, just stop doing a line of coke every single weekend and calm down, man. Because it does. It just kind of feels like your younger like bros or like that cousin. Or whatever that just is like the screw up in the family like stop just no florida no no florida no <laughs> don't who let florida get the whippets again damn it we all know what happens to when florida gets tequila and whippets combined god all right let's do it this way hey what's up uk good to see you buddy you can name 50 beers in under two minutes. Hey, that, that's an accomplishment. And drink those beers in under 10 minutes. So you mean, so I mean, that that's, you know, it's basically the same accomplishment as naming uh, the states. <laughs> College dropout will get you. Yeah. So you got to be like me where you don't even, uh... no, that's not true. I did almost graduate college. I guess I am a college dropout. Woohoo. <laughs> I missed my associate's degree by like eight credits or something like that. And they were all math. I can't stand math. It has always been my kryptonite and it will always be my kryptonite. Thing is, uh, Rhode Island is about as big as the biggest county in the UK. Really? Really? Because, yeah, no, it's super teeny tiny. But, again, you know, comparing the US to the UK is... Not super fair. UK, very small. Very, very small in comparison. Teeny tiny. Yorkshire is that the biggest county huh I didn't drop out of college because I didn't go that's how you do it that's what I was trying to get to I was trying to remember if I uh it's been that long damn it I was trying to remember my college experience like wait I didn't even go but like, yeah I did I went for a year and a half <laughs> I went for a year and a half so yeah I was, I was waiting for Leaf and uh Leaf and Lion Rider to pop in our two Rhode Island natives They always get excited when someone talks about them. See how excited everyone from Rhode Island is? All three of them are right now. They're like, oh my gosh, someone's talking about us. 
hi you know they're they're like that that needy ex-girlfriend who's like you remember me you remember my name it's me rhode island hi how's everyone doing it's me rhode island hi hi oh no everyone already left they already forgot it damn it all right we'll get remembered in another 10 years <laughs> just kidding my my rhode island little little munchkins you know what I think we're going to do? I think we're going to get rid of these because they're not going to work out. There we go. Oh, shoot. I forgot about the uh, the windows. I suppose they're going to need windows over there. Oh, just gonna, I uh, truly have no opinion on Rhode Island, to be completely frank with you. That's my that's my opinion on Rhode Island. I don't have an opinion on Rhode Island. Never been there. Never visited. Don't really have any intention to want to visit. So that's kind of my opinion on Rhode Island. Is it is there? It is our smallest state. And yes. <laughs> That's then that's the extent of my opinion on Rhode Island. <laughs> oh shoot, I had all those. Never mind, whatever. Just take beats. Do 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 You could throw a baseball over here and yet us, Illinois and Belgium, make up like 50% um, of this community seemingly. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's up, uh, Eerie? How you been? Yeah, it has been a little bit, hasn't it? Hope you've been doing well. Hope things have been going well for you. Okay, so looks like we can fit two in here. haven't visited don't <laughs> lion rider's just like nope don't just you don't want to i think i'd like to visit just to say i drove through you know our small estate now and then that would be i'd be good after that but yeah other than that, i just i don't know what else there is to like vi do you guys have like a big ball of yarn or something like a lot of states do that they'll have like hey come visit our big ball of yarn at least in the midwest that's what they do or hey we may we have a giant chair come and come see our giant chair it's pretty cool. So what's Rhode Island saying? Like, we're small, but we have again like a lot of art. I could see, I could see it being that like Rhode Island, small state, big heart. If it's not, then they can buy that idea off me. TM, there you go. TM, they can't do it now. <laughs> have you ever visited the UK? No, I haven't. Nope. The only international place I have been to is Mexico. I have visited Mexico when I was 13 years old. But I would uh, love to go to the UK. My uh, grandpa, his family is from there originally, like his uh, heritage and everything. So he has like a family crest in the UK somewhere, so I want to go check that out, because technically it's part of, like, my family has a crest then. Um, so I think that'd be cool to see, but yeah, yeah, I want to go visit the UK. This music's slapping right now. Biggest ball of twines in Minnesota. Oh, there you go. Bam. Bam. A ton of really bad zoos, Six Flags, some beaches, and Dunkin' Donuts everywhere. We have the big blue bug. All right. Not an ox. We have a big blue ox, but that's after uh, Paul Bunyan and his big blue ox. You can go up to Wisconsin to Paul Bunyan's eatery, restaurant, eatery, <laughs> and um, yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Six Flags New England. I don't even like. <laughs> I don't even know if I want to visit Six Flags New England. <laughs> it basically gets a lot of the like rejected rides from other 
places around the world. Like, I think Six Flags New England has, like, three old coast two two old coasters from great america so it's like yeah i could go and visit six flags new england which would basically be like visiting six flags great america's old rides Ooh, the original conjuring house that actually sounds pretty badass i like clam ch uh, clam chowder too clam chowder there sorry i had to pronounce it right i do like clam chowder a lot so it would be awesome to go to the East Coast to get some actual good clam chowder. Just like you guys gotta come into the Midwest and get some good pizza and get some good uh, cheesesteaks and yeah, a bunch of stuff. Beef sandwiches, woo! You don't wanna visit there? Yeah, they just shut down Goliath, which is probably your best coaster. Which one was Goliath? Was that the... Hold on. You're not talking about the boomerang, right? And I know you're not a theme park nerd, so I won't judge you too hard if that's what you're talking about. Oh my gosh, Nick, you're funny. It's a boomerang, Nick. They have these at every single park. I mean, it's a giant inverted boomerang and there's only like three of those, but the layout is just a boomerang, bro. If that's the best coaster at Six Flags New England, then oh my gosh, it's a fun fair. Then it's a fun fair, essentially. There's a boomerang and every, everybody's park has a boomerang. That's funny. <laughs> I got I got theme park snobby there for a second. I apologize. I apologize. But I, I put up with zoo snobs for the last like two years. So y'all can put up with me being a theme park snob for 30 seconds. <laughs> uh, where's that? tower that I want. There it is. Actually, if I remember right, that giant boomerang was Six Flags Great America's. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually, I'm, I'm remembering now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that that was Great America's that New England got um, shipped to them because it kept breaking on Great America. So they're like, I don't fucking get rid of it. <laughs> Give it to New England. They get all the hand-me-down coasters. <laughs> um, and then they also got uh, Iron Wolf, which I think is called Firebird now. And they converted it from a stand-up roller coaster to a sit-down one. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a sit-down floorless coaster. And then in that place, we got Goliath, which is an RMC ground up uh, coaster, which was way better. Iron Wolf was so bad. Like when, I, like when everyone announced that they were getting rid of that one, I think uh, all the Six Flags Great America fandom was like, yay, <laughs> finally. I mean, it was kind of like an iconic ride because it was the first uh, stand up looping coaster from B&M. Actually, no, just in general, it's the first stand-up looping coaster. Oh, actually, it'll look good with these. Um, so it was kind of an iconic coaster, but it was horrendous. It was like, ugh. Yeah, it was just, ugh. <laughs> but yeah, I bet it's a lot better now, because again, they took the trains and it's not stand-up anymore, and it's floorless, which I love floorless coasters. Oh, uh, that's what Six Flags does. They own the name naming rights, I think, for Goliath, so they just, like, use the crap out of it. Because, yeah, there's, like, a Goliath at over Texas, um, a Goliath at, yeah, New England, or had one at New England, um, a Goliath at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Magic Mountain! Um, yeah, no, they love the name Goliath. It's almost as common as having a Batman the Ride clone inside of your park. Superman's legit. Now, Six Flags New England has the Giga Coaster Superman, right? Which is widely considered to be one of the best coasters in the world. Or it was for a while. It was getting... Oh, that's right. That is that one. Okay, so yeah, that Superman used to win awards, but then they had to put a different lap bar system in it because I think someone in a wheelchair like fell out of it. It was like a really weird story 
I mean, it's tragic, you know, anytime someone dies on a coaster, but it was something like the... I don't know. Actually, I'm not even going to comment on it because I'm going to sound really ignorant with it. But yeah, they, they had to redo the restraints on it. And then it really, like, dumbed down the airtime on it. So now it's not really that good of a, um, a giga anymore. You have Goliath in the, the Netherlands' biggest coaster in the area. For which park? What's that for, uh, Goron? Is that Wallaby? Um, Wallaby? Just trying to think of the parks that would be near where you're at. Oh, and then it straightens out. Okay. But like more thrilling stuff. Well, and you gotta remember when it first opened too. It opened at what, like the turn of the decade? So that's when things like uh, Cedar or uh, Millennium Force were considered like, you know, top tier coasters and um no, yeah that's when coasters were built very windy very big elongated turns and it was all about wow we're going fast but there was no forces behind it that's why a lot of uh, enthusiasts today um not really rightfully so in my opinion but like judge coasters that uh came out like 20 30 years ago now like there's no forces oh does this go fast and windy it's like well yeah but that's what they were doing back then like that's that's what it was all about. Now, today, I'm totally on board with, uh, you know, what they're doing today, because you got RMC and Intamin and them, like, really pushing the envelope for intensity and airtime and stuff like that. But, yeah, no, like, back in the day with B&M, um, they were just all about reliability, really tall, it go fast, it do big turns that the whole family are comfortable with. But, yeah, no, the landscape's changing a lot, though, as far as coasters go. Coaster technology these days is ridiculous. Especially Vacoma and Intamin and RMC, they're they're really pushing things. GCI too with their wooden coasters. Wallaby, yeah, which be yep, used to be Six Flags. It did. Six Flags owned like what, like six or seven parks in Europe. Alton Towers here in the UK that uh, aren't allowed to build coasters higher than the trees. Yep, same thing here at uh, Great America, surrounding the park. Yeah, so they have to build things underground. Yeah, which makes for a really cool setting for um, rides like Nemesis. Yeah, which you get really cool settings for Nemesis. But yeah, we have the same thing here um, at Six Flags Great America. They can only build their rides um, X feet, X amount of feet tall. Because um, there's uh, airports. There's a bunch of airports around here. So uh, there's been a few times where I'm pretty sure we're, we were supposed to get like um, different like record-breaking coasters and stuff and they moved them on to somewhere else. I'm kind of fortunate in that way that Great America, uh, Six Flags Great America right up the road from me, my local park, is kind of the testing ground for Six Flags in general. Um, so whenever Six Flags is like going through renovations or bringing in new rides or anything, usually um, us, like Six Flags Great America, Six Flags over Texas, because that's the original Six Flags, or Six Flags Magic Mountain. Magic Mountain! Uh, we'll get the, um, kind of like the test coasters. Oh, that looks cool. My recent one was Max Force, which is such a cool little ride. Alright, so that looks good, that looks good, that looks good. Now we need a chimney back here. This one awards every year from 2000 to 2019. Yes, it now it used to win from the official theme park and roller coaster like award people, Ace. They used to win like best ride of the year from Ace. Now some of those awards, you might want to check because some of those might be popularity contest awards that Six Flags likes to do a lot, a lot. And then they tout it as if like, we have the best voted ride for 
2020, like the same year that Seal Vengeance came out at Cedar Point. I think it was like a Six Flags Park was like, our ride was just voted the best, most popular ride in the in the country. It's like, no, it wasn't. It was voted in your online poll that 300 people went on. And then you said that it was the most popular ride. Six Flags likes to do that shit all the time. <laughs> they do that shit all the time. Our local one, they said that they were the um, cleanest, tidiest park uh, in the country off of a poll of like 100 people that they did on their website. It's like, you can't do that. It's like, I'm going to take a poll that says I'm the best because I say so and I'm going to vote on it. And my family's going to vote on it. <laughs> theme, I shouldn't just say Six Flags. Theme parks in general like to do that kind of stuff. Any way to get a leg up, right? Any way to get a little leg up on your competition, which is Cedar Point. Because essentially all Six Flags is doing is trying to take away from Cedar Point. <laughs> well, actually, you know what we could do is do this. Uh, to be honest, I never understand why Six Flags attempts to compete in the Midwest with Cedar Point. Um, except for a few of their parks, I, I agree. Like, the, uh, Great America can stand on its own, because that park is always busy. Always. Um, but other than that, you like, yeah, it's it's a losing battle. It's really a losing battle. Well, that's why they got rid of, like, Darien Lake. and Or not Darien Lake. Um, uh... Oh my gosh, I can't think of the name. But anyways, there's a few Six Flags parks that were really, really close to uh, Cedar Point that they just ended up abandoning. Ge uh, Giaga Lake. That was, that's what I was thinking of. Giaga Lake, which was at one point the world's biggest theme park. And then like two years later, it was shut down because Six Flags was like, nope. <laughs> nope. We're square. We're, we're good. Cedar Point, you win this area. I mean, they kind of like, yeah, except for Great America, I don't really count Six Flags St. Louis as the Midwest. That's more getting down into the South. But they still got a lot to compete with there because um, Cedar Fair, they own like Worlds of Fun, Cedar Point. Um, what else is down South over there? Holiday. No, they don't, they don't own Hollywood World, do they? But yeah, no, the Cedar Point, they kind of have the, or Cedar Fair, they have the Midwest pretty wrapped up except for one or two parks. And then down south, that's what I was thinking of. Then down south, you have uh, Dollywood and um, those who own Dollywood and Silver Dollar City and stuff like that. Is this recolorable? There's a piece. I'm looking for a piece. Yeah, yeah that's that's the one. The one that mixed with SeaWorld. Yep, they pushed SeaWorld and what used to be a Cedar Fair park that was sold to Six Flags. And they were like, now you are one. And now, today, it's a residential park. Uh, subdivision as far as I know oh way too big there that's the one I was looking for Bush Gardens. So, I don't think that, like, so parks like Bush Gardens, Sea World, which are owned by the same people, uh, Disney Universal, I put them in a totally different category. Cause, like, 
Cedar Fair, Six Flags, and whoever owns like Dollywood and Silver Dollar City, those are like your mid-tier amusement parks, right? We're definitely dealing with amusement parks at that point. Once you start getting into, yeah, Anheuser-Busch, you know, SeaWorld, and again, Disney, Universal, uh, Merlin a little bit, um, that's when I think it starts to move over into theme parks and not amusement parks, and they're in their own separate category of competing with each other. Like Cedar Point and Disney aren't direct competitors of each other. Yes, they both run theme parks, but you're never gonna see a Cedar Point Orlando or anything like that. I don't think so, at least. I mean, you never know what could happen, but yeah. Oh, I love, yeah, Hershey Park. I'd love to visit Hershey Park. I, I think that they're owned by Cedar Fair, if I remember right, or they might be independently owned. No, they're owned by, no, they're owned by Hershey. Now I have to know. Now I have to know. I know originally they were owned independently, but Hershey. No, not here. He, her, she, park owner. Milton S. Yeah, da, da, da. Privately owned by the Hershey Entertainment and Resorts Company. Yes, it is privately owned. It is privately owned. Which is cool, because you don't see that a lot nowadays. I mean, of course, it's Hershey, you know, which is a ginormous uh, company. But it is still cool to see privately owned theme parks that aren't just, you know, the big four, the big three companies running them. And that's kind of what's different about zoos, isn't it? Like, you don't see, correct me if I'm wrong, but you don't see, like, private-owned zoos. Like, you know, Six Flags. Well, uh, Sawdust, your Four Flags is a perfect representation. Uh, but yeah, you don't see, like, a lot of companies coming in and just owning straight-up zoos. It's usually, like, a city zoo, I feel like. At least in the States. Like, there's not, like, a bunch of money being put into zoos like there are uh, theme parks. Technically, this needs to go back a little bit. Oh no, actually, this needs to come forward. By the way, let's face it, Disney's not really about rides. No, not not just about rides. No, they understand it's an experience, a full experience for the family. And while going to a theme park, you know, sure you go to a theme park or whatever for, let's say, a ride. You know, like oh, I really need, I really want to go ride Space Mountain, whatever. Um, but when you're in there, most, you know, most of your time is either walking around or going to a restaurant or being entertained by a show or an entertainer or something else like that. So, you yeah, know, they, they fully understand that it's not just about the rides. But when they do do a ride, you know, it costs $300 million and theming goes all out and it's an event and a spectacle and everything. Yeah. There are chain aquariums, not really zoos. Yeah, yeah, I've seen a lot of chain aquariums. That's that's a good point. Sea Life Aquariums are just chain aquariums that pop up everywhere. I feel like that was the one that was in Denver. Uh, there was one in Denver that uh, was a chain. And I feel like it was, a, what'd you call it? Sea Life? Yeah, I think it was a Sea Life. I wonder where that is. Just zoos aren't profitable, like, at all? Question mark, you know, I'm genuinely, genuinely curious uh, what y'all think. Like, are they just not profitable? So it doesn't make sense for someone like, you know, other than SeaWorld, which they got backlash, you know, for their practices and how they did stuff, whether whichever side of the aisle you fall on for whether that was right or wrong. The fact of the matter is, you know, Sea Life really got boned by that documentary. Um, so maybe other companies saw that and were like, ah, why would we even mess with it? We gotta pay for the animals, we gotta pay for, you know, all the other stuff that comes along with doing a theme park in a zoo. It's like, you know, what's, what's, what's the benefit for us? And I think that's like why a lot of times you see that the taxpayers shell out things for zoos because it's a, a service more so than a, um, I don't know. Word. <laughs> hey, Steam Cat. What's up, buddy? Did I get both of these? I don't think so. Got 
Got him. That's a good, that looks good. I think it's time to detail this thing up. <laughs> yeah, right, uh, so they don't really make much of a profit. I think so too. Sea Life partners with Legoland a lot. Uh, I've been to two or three of their uh, Sea Lifes that have been connected to Legolands or mini Legolands. That's cool. They kind of are in connection. Huh. Yeah, a lot of cool opinions on that. All right, let's detail. Or actually, no, first, let's put this where it's going to go. Let's put this where it's going to go, and then we'll kind of do the final details, because I want to do some grass work and rock work, you know, all that kind of fun stuff there. What time is it? Hey, perfect timing to get ready to uh, wrap up, too. Gotta love how that works out. So, again, like I was saying at the beginning of the strum here, um, we don't have to keep this layout. It doesn't have to exactly be that. We can kind of funk with some stuff here. And now we're playing City Skylines. <laughs> now we're essentially playing City Skylines, just plopping down the building. Could do like that, or maybe have the back end of it facing here and put like a big, a few um, posters up. Custom windows in the front there. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I think those turned out pretty cool. Hmm. There's a little bit of a terrain change right here. Maybe we could um, fix that. Nah, you know, we don't need to fix it. It looks fine. I think right there is kind of cool. Yeah, I think right there is pretty cool. Oh, actually, cool right there too. Looking back, um, I'm surprised Aquarium survive. I mean, talk about yawn. I kind of agree. Like, I think they're cool, but I don't. Once I go to an aquarium, it's not like I turn around. I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to go back to that aquarium and see those fish tanks again. So I kind of agree in that case, and it's, again, one of those things where it's not like I'm adamantly against aquariums or anything, and when I'm at an aquarium, I'm like, yeah, this is cool, like, look at that fish, way to be a fish, fish. Um, but yeah, it's not like I'm clamoring afterwards, or maybe kids are, because, I don't know, it could be, I guess, argued that aquariums are a bit more kid-focused. Um, yeah, I'm just not clamoring, like, oh man, we have to go back to the aquarium this weekend or I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. And I know that there's people who could say the same thing about a theme park, right? That's why there's always these arguments are kind of null and void. Like, it's kind of a personal argument rather than a winning argument or anything. Because someone could say, oh, man, what do you need to go on that roller coaster a bunch for? It does the same layout every single time. What's different, right? So, I always try and look at both ways of it because <laughs> you can definitely make that same argument what do we need to go to the zoo for i already saw the bison i know what a bison looks like and what they do i get it why do i need to go to the zoo again yeah see boom double double-sided coin double-edged sword Uh, 
Uh, aquariums are pet stores with sea lions and sharks that are $40 a ticket. Dang, yo. <laughs> spitting truth, though. Kind of spitting facts, though. Where's, um... I'm looking through all these. I think it's blueprints that I want. There's, like, a lot of really cool blueprints that have backstage stuff. Yeah, why don't we start there? Actually, you know what? Estee might already have it taken out. I don't even need to sift through. That's right. This nerd already has a bunch of stuff out that we're using. There are the barrels. This thing. That thing. <laughs> this stuff. Yeah, give me this. Oh, no, not the whole thing. <laughs> Stuff's connected to who knows what. Yeah, give me that. There we go. Give me that Goron barrel. Surprised that we don't just have barrels in the game yet. You know, like just just a just a barrel, <laughs> or just a plain crate. That's not for like the Indian theme. Just need some generic type stuff. Um, it's been such a... What's that? I uh, never felt the need to visit the zoo as much as I have since I started to play with Planet Zoo. That's fair, yeah. But it's been such an experience. Uh, every time I go, I'm just looking for one experience I haven't had uh, before to be satisfied. Yeah. And every time I get like 10. Hey, yo, Keen, What's up, buddy? Uh, where are we doing? We, myself, a, doing a world fair, but I'm stuck. Oh, man. Hopefully you get some cre uh, creativity. Uh, we're just building in Beyond Wolf Nature Preserve. Doing some, some good old swamp builds. With Goron side, <laughs> just start throwing them on there. <laughs> Absolutely, and that, my friends, is called cluttering. We got a floater. There we go. Yep, this is gonna be a lot of getting your basic like clutter stuff out for these builds and then going back and taking it from those builds again so you don't have to look through the blueprint menu forever so it's like yeah crate that's a good crate i'll just use that for every single one you know what i'm actually gonna switch some stuff around get those tires out front go the problem i have with theme parks is that the coasters will always be the same thing there won't be variations between rides yet with zoos one day you might go and all the animals are sleeping the next day you might go and the babies are playing see and i can make the argument that no you're wrong uh riding a coaster is not always the same um it varies very very differently if you ride it in the morning if you ride it in the afternoon if you ride it just after it rained it depends where you ride it on the car did you ride on a wheel seat again was it like 90 degrees fahrenheit like all day and now the track is super heated up like you can get a way different experience than if it was like 50 degrees fahrenheit and the track was really cold so but you know that's what's fun about these arguments is that no one is right we're all wrong but we can feel right and pat ourselves on the back and feel good about it <laughs> Do, 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 do. I want to add a barrel crate mods, but I also know that it wouldn't be used that much. You don't think so? I mean, I wouldn't use it right now, but... The plain res crate reskin. Yeah, yeah. Prop mods just aren't super popular and is the main issue until we get Team TK. The demand just isn't there. Yeah, I've said a few times I'm not going to use prop mods until we get uh, Theme Maker Toolkit. And... Again, you know, nothing against our, uh, our mod squad, our modders there, because you all do a fantastic job. But I just can't trust that Frontier isn't going to put something in that makes it so like, oh, cool. Now I have to spend 
a whole day or you know a whole build session going through and making sure you know it's just and again i don't want to sound like i'm coming down on our modders at all because the work that they've been able to do with planet zoo and everything has been stupendous it's just the fact of the matter that the last few times that we've had an update um it's broken people's stuff and it's just been annoying to deal with so hey nice basic hopefully it wasn't too bad of a day went by pretty quickly for you hopefully so easy to port if i've asked them the same thing going on it sounds like yeah it'll be easy just to put everything in the theme maker's toolkit and away we go or away they go because <laughs> yeah right when that happens right when we get all that stuff oh my gosh I, i'm on it you know i'm totally going to be first in line downloading all this, this amazing uh stuff you should have seen oh maybe i shouldn't even mention this but uh tell me to shut up if you want to uh lion rider <laughs> you should have seen what nick uh posted this morning to SD and myself and Leaf's message. Um, some of the props that he was thinking of doing, for, or is doing for the Safari pack. I was like, oh, that's so good. And I could definitely use that, especially in Beyond Wolf Nature Preserve. I was like, fuck, I can't justify it though. <laughs> it's the same thing um, where I have a source, still not sure if he's credible yet, who indicates that we have packs until December 2022, where I'm like, great, updating mod six more times. And that sounds feasible, because Frontier even came out and said that they were going to be supporting the game um, for at least another two years, right? I can't remember where it was from, but it was an actual like quote from Frontier saying they're going to support the game for another like two years, something like that. Um, you actually might add more stuff. Well, if you're okay with it, you might, uh, do you mind if I show off that picture? I won't show off the rest of the message, or messages, obviously, just... Um, just the picture that you sent over because it's pretty awesome I'll save it even so we can't even see any of the stuff we're talking about behind there it's very back update yeah cool all right cool so take a look everyone what senior playing radar is working on Take a look, take a look. Let me get there. Pictures. Safari pack update. There it is. Whoops, I didn't save it right. That's okay, I'll just show it like this. So yeah, look at this. Ready? Boom! Look at that. He's adding junk. Yeah, cracks, scratches, decals. So this is stuff that, um, we got a little bit of this in Planet Coaster for Theme Maker's Toolkit, uh, but not nearly enough. And right when you start adding this stuff in, it just turns builds on their heads and makes it look so much better. Um, yeah, getting the decrepit type abandoned look, you know, a little bit of aging to it because not everything's always built brand new. So yeah, that's going to be great. That's going to be great. <clears throat> um, and again, that's that he posted that and I was like... <sighs> Oh, damn it, Nick. <laughs> I'm supposed to be getting or not tempted to use this stuff. But yeah, so those of you that are using um, prop mods and everything, you are going to have a hell of a fun time. That's so good. Those are, yes, right. So those are decals that you'll just, you know, just place over top of, uh, over top there. So really, really handy. Again, we had that in Planet uh, Coaster for a little bit, but we didn't have a lot of people doing Theme Maker Toolkit and uh, or reliable people doing Theme Maker Toolkit stuff, except for like Ollie and a few others. Um, so yeah, we didn't really get a lot of that stuff with it. So very exciting to see it coming already. Just notice our height difference was off over here. Alright, so we have that, we have that. How about some more stuff? Oh yeah, that's right, the trash. This is the this is the good stuff, right? These this trash pack. Bunch of trash pack. Bunch of trash rats. <laughs> I, I yeah, I don't know, Nick. Like no one wanted to. Like we made a, they made a bunch of like really good, uh, oh, hey, the building's like 
not on the floor. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't help that. Oh, I see why it's the terrain difference. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, we, yeah, they were doing like some really cool stuff with modding and then all of a sudden, uh, oh no, you know what it was? Everyone got really frustrated because the theme maker toolkit um, restrictions were horrendous. We couldn't eat, like they couldn't make trees. They couldn't make uh, buildings. There's like all these plans that people had. And then the theme maker toolkit came out and the restrictions were so bad for it that people were just like, well, Planet Coaster was fun. What's the next thing? <laughs> like we can't do anything that we really want to do with this game now. So bye. And there was no modding as well. There was nobody modding the game. And the people who were, were like half-ass modding it. They're like, hey, I made the train go upside down. I'm like, all right, that's cool, bro. But like, are you modding? <laughs> yeah, well, there was no modders for, for it up until Planet Zoo came along, and then they were like, oh, we can mod Planet Coaster too? And then, yeah, that's basically when Planet Zoo's modding took off is when Planet Coaster's modding took off. They were essentially uh, the same. They were essentially one and the same. And I don't think that'll happen with Planet Zoo. Um, I mean, heck, it could, but because we had a really strong modding community with Planet Coast or uh, with Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. So I kind of expected that to, you know, be a thing uh, when we got Team TK and stuff. But again, I think it was a lot of the restrictions that were placed on the Maker's Toolkit, the eight meter box and the upload. Yeah, that was the big thing too, is when uh, the Maker's Toolkit very, very, very first came out, it was like horrendous upload stuff. And there had to be so many patches and updates to it to even get like on frontiers end i mean to like even get theme makers to look at to like work right and then you had to like read through like an entire binders worth of notes from frontier on how to like even upload something so most of the people were like oh and then you had to only use maya i think that that's how it started they're like yeah you can't you have to use maya and that's it and it was like a hundred dollar program or something like that so you know a lot of the amateur people were like fuck that i'm not paying you know to do Maya every single month and stuff like that. I'm just gonna not mod, I guess, or not do Theme Maker's Toolkit. Wall set mods are super easy to make for me, but I don't know if it's gonna be easy to make an entire wall set using theme, uh, TMTK. Yeah, it might not be. If they, if they are not enhancing TMTK at all, and they're just like control C, control Ving it over, it might be a bit of a bummer to use. I hope they improve it, but from everything that I've seen so far that was in Planet Coaster that they ported over to Planet Zoo, it's been the exact same. So take that with what you will. Or every wall, it, it, that is how it is. There's no, no, that, yeah, shoot, that is how it is, man. For Planet Coaster, at least, yeah, you have to upload A, and then upload B, and then upload C. So, have fun. <laughs> There's no, like, batch uploads. Remember, you oh, that's right, because you're doing the time zoo, right? Yeah, that's right. That'll be fun. Uh, cool, let's swamp this up, and then I'm going to get ready to wrap up there. Yeah, let's do some swamp action as far as the foliage goes. Maybe a billboard as well. And then, yeah, we're going to get the heck fire out of here, everybody. Should be live tomorrow. Should be. I might be recording with Wyatt. Uh, if you missed the beginning of the stream, um, I did announce that Wyatt and myself are going to be redoing the final Zooten Tower uh, tour because uh, the one that we did yesterday was just crap. <laughs> I'm not even going to beat her on the bush. And it's all on my end again. It's all on my end. The, the people who joined uh, Lion and Crocs, 
they were awesome and, and uh why you know they, they did an awesome job hanging out and giving their insights but my stream was lagging like crazy and we only toured like half the zoo because i was really busy yesterday before D D and stuff so it just it just was not really good so yeah we're gonna re-record um not live it's just gonna be a recording an actual recording session so there's no lag or anything not to worry about that um and that'll be out uh, hopefully very soon Safari Pack, I was able to do 400 props because I could do it in chunks. Entire roofs and wall sets, yeah. But there's no way in hell I'm uploading each individual one. Especially when each individual item takes, like, an hour to several to upload. That's when it starts to become, like, what's the point? What's the heckin' point? Alright, Saunders, have a good one, buddy. We'll talk at you later. We'll talk at you later. Do, oh, there's Leaf. What's up, Leafy? Had to go fix up my car, but damn, this is looking nice. Hey, thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. Hopefully the car is in a condition that when you turn the key, it does start. That's always at least a start for uh, car issues. Does it turn on? No. Oh, shit. There goes my paycheck. Ooh, right there. I think right there is a good spot to put a um, billboard. I need a six meter one. <laughs> if I had a six meter one, it would fit this perfectly, basically. Can't fix my sleeping chest with some super tired. Hey, thanks for hanging out, buddy. Appreciate you, Goran. We'll see you later, man. Probably catch him streaming again soon now that he's getting back in the swing of things. I like that one. That looks cool. Well. Oh. Uh, sawdust, here's your <laughs> Oh, he's he just left, I forgot. But there's Sawdust four flags when we were gonna visit it, but unfortunately the mods weren't working. Let's frame this in. Looks a lot better there. You got a hundred mods? Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, right, that's a lot. That's that's a heck load. Leaf is by himself gonna make sure that Planet Zoo doesn't run out of content ever. <laughs> He's like, if I have to, I'll upload all the damn mods. I'm not letting Planet Zoo falter. Even if the or the official developers won't only help us out once every three months with four animals and 150 pieces. I, Leaf the Barbarian, shall carry the mantle and carry the torch for Planet Zoo. Lion Rider 2. <laughs> Not to go understated. You'll go live uh, hopefully tomorrow or on Wednesday. After that, I'm going to be visiting your girlfriend for a while, so I'm going to be uh, radio silent a bit again. Dang, bro. You're going to leave us for the girlfriend? Wow. Way to actually enjoy your significant other's time with them and everything. Jeez. You all believe that? <laughs> that sounds fun, dude. That sounds fun, though. As long as it's Fisher Flamingos, absolutely. No, stop being so dumb. I'm pretty sure we've already used this billboard in the park, but that's okay. Tis okay. Do, do, do. Hey, what's up, Zoof? You're streaming for the first time this week. Enjoy. Have a good time. Biggest thing is always make sure you have a good mic, which if you make content already, you definitely do. Um, 
and always talk. <laughs> I mean, not always talk, but especially if you don't have a camera, it's definitely better to always keep the conversation going. If you have a camera, I always kind of tend to think you can get away with being a little bit more radio silent because at least people can look at your, your face. Like, oh, okay, he's still there. Be like Leaf and I and just uh, only hang out with each other all day, modding and ignoring our girlfriend. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Well, your girlfriend talks to you still. She just tells you to shut up. <laughs> she, she just... She looks at you like, are you recording again? Are you fucking kidding me? I, I can just... I can picture it now. Nick, it's four o'clock in the morning. Why are you recording right now? It's because Frontier hates Americans and they release stuff at four o'clock in the morning. I can't help it. <laughs> There's a little bit of joke in there, but also, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. maybe Frontier can throw us Americans a bone at least once on a release date. Just once? <laughs> you talk to your girlfriends? No, I haven't talked to my girlfriend in like two years because she's my wife now. Uh, boom, I got an upgrade on my girlfriend. You guys got to try that sometime too. You can upgrade your girlfriends to wives. Actually, upgrade? I'm just kidding. Yes, that's an upgrade. <laughs> yeah, I got the special power-up ability. Drew has gained the ability of marriage. It's just like not being married, except... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> she doesn't watch the streams, but this will be the one. That I'd be a snarky butthead. And then she'd be like, so I was watching your stream because this is what my wife sounds like, apparently. Her, the cost for it is high, though. Hey, you can go to the courtroom, man. Just saying. It is high, though. We, we try to do ours on a budget. <laughs> yeah. Weddings don't care about your budget. <laughs> is just what I learned. Our original idea. Oh yeah, we're just gonna have close family and a few close friends and it'll be at the, you know, here. It'll be nice and cheap and oh yeah, it'll be fun. Nope, wrong, wrong. It's never cheap. <laughs> no matter what you do, unless you literally are doing like a shotgun wedding where you just go to the courthouse and bing, bam, boom, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Cool. Yes, or a Vegas wedding type thing. Cool, yep, I'm with you. That probably didn't cost a lot. But if you're doing it like, quote unquote, more traditional, then uh -uh, I, I just don't know how you do it without spending at least a grand. At least. And man, even if you can pull that off, you're like a, a saint among men. You're a bit young. Yeah, don't rush it too. There's no rush. Definitely no rush. I got married when I was, what, 29? Basically, so yeah. Which even to some people, that's still young to get married. Unless you're my mom, who's like, Drew, you're 22. It's time to get no, no. But she just wanted me to get married so she could have grandkids. She wants grandbabies. Selfish, selfish mom. <laughs> just kidding. Some parents do be like that, though. It gets to the point where they're just like, ah, I'm just kidding, but seriously, give me grandkids. It's like, hey, just, just, let, just lay off me, okay? I'll, I'll make my family when I'm comfortable making my family, okay? Thank you. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> A free marriage giveaway and you can get married in the deer forest? What? <laughs> that sounds kind of cool. If it was like a more private, I bet a bunch of people are going to go do it. So it's probably not going to be like really a private event. Because I did enjoy that, that like um, Mikhail and I, we uh, set it up where her and I kind of had like a, a little quiet time together to kind of reflect on everything. It was right after we like said our vows and stuff. There was like a little um, gazebo out in this woods away from everyone. And it was really cool. Um, my best friend was our, um, not pastor, we didn't have like a religious ceremony but the uh what's the word i'm looking for i can't think of it but the dude who married us <laughs> the the official dude who married us um 
so yeah he like led us back there and was like okay you guys i'm gonna hold everyone off for like 10 minutes and you guys can just reflect it's like dude that's so cool Okay, we're getting a little bit too heavy on the Spanish moss, actually. Yeah, actually a little bit too heavy there. Do, 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 do. You're, not, you're not gonna have kids already um, look after the nephews a lot of time, and uh, damn, are they expensive. I hear ya. I hear ya. We're, exci we're so excited to start a family and have kids, personally. But I definitely understand. And uh, to an extent, like, support. You know, people who choose not to have kids for whatever the reasoning may be, like... It's not my place to really say anything. It doesn't affect me, so why would I give a sh two rats behinds about it? Um, and yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't see the harm in it. You, you sometimes hear people like, "But what about popula the, the population? Like, do we have like a billion too many people like living in on Earth? We could probably do with a little bit like less babies." Among the draft in the safari um, habitat. Oh, really? Um, <laughs> people in general, right? It's always uh, I always think of the quote from The Office. It's it's really sadistic, but it's the Dwight K. Schrute or the Dwight Schrute quote where he's like, "There's too many people in this world. We need another plague." <laughs> and it's so funny, but it, and it's like, well, you know, there are kind of like too many people. <laughs> Which now you say that it's, it takes on a little bit of a different meaning since uh, COVID and everything. I mean, COVID's not a plague, but you know, it takes on a little bit of a different meaning. <laughs> Where it's like, dang, we kind of are going through that a little bit of a, a dummy purge. <laughs> I did this really, really inefficiently, by the way. I don't know why I chose to do these all single and spin them around. That was really, really inefficient. Went really uh, 1700. Could post a picture and yeah, do it. Put it in like the talk about it section. That'd be fun to see. Yeah. I think we can sneak in another billboard here. We'll use the long one. No, shoot, we don't have the one I was thinking of. Dang it. I keep I don't know why I've been doing this so long or so many times lately. I haven't played Planet Coaster in God knows how long, and I always mix up Planet Coaster pieces with Planet Zoo pieces. In Planet Coaster we have a long, like, strip billboard. That's like our flags ones that we have. I was going to put that right here, but that's not going to work now. Ding dang. As Tim Tracker would say, ding dang. Yeah, wouldn't it be great if we could just put this like right here? Big old billboard covering half the building. Uh, Toes Community Zoo and specifically the entrance plaza. Any ideas how to spruce it up? Go over the basics and work your way from there. So what I mean is, uh, check, do you have benches? Do you have bins? Do you have nuclear bombs? Right, you know. <laughs> uh, but, you know, look at your roof structures. Do you have, if it's applicable, do you have overhangs going on? Do you have uh, trim, you know, coming off the side of your building? Um, so yeah, look at your basics of your build, your basic builder, um, and then work work your way backwards from there. That, that's again personally what I do with builds is is work my way backwards from the basic stuff to more extravagant kind of things You got your soft bears finally. Okay, buddy. We'll talk to you later. <laughs> See you, bud
P whoop and P whoop. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, so there will be, there should be at least um, this week a few speed build videos coming out. Uh, first and foremost is gonna be this. I did actually record and do a speed build um, of this whole thing, for the, mostly this whole thing. Um, so there will be um, a speed build coming out of that. And then I was also mentioning um, how I was really inspired by. Uh, Leaf and Rudy and others who are doing these awesome, uh, excuse me, uh, these awesome uh, diorama builds. And I really would like to kind of get into doing that. I think that'd be really fun. So I might try and do one of those diorama speed builds as well this week. Make another floor. There we go. Oh, that's not even at all, is it? Oh gosh, I see it. Yeah, it's like way off. Whoops. Um... He's fine, I fix. Other way. Okay, that's good, and let's get rid of that one too. And this can actually get rid of as well. There we go. All right, let's jink this area back here. Some more Spanish moss, but not too much. Like I was saying before, I actually went a little bit overboard in the front area with uh, too much Spanish moss. If you can believe it. And this back end of the building doesn't have... Ah, yeah, that's right. I didn't add this little bit. This overhang. Gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Ah, there you go. So just a little bit of definition to the backside here like we did in the front. Makes a world of difference in the build, I think. And then same thing on this side here. Did we do it over here? Oh, I even missed that side too. Wow. Wow. That looks good. That looks good. Uh, yeah, one last one on the other end here. There we go. And then I'm also going to be giving this back to S Dork. To S Daddy. <laughs> um, at the end of the stream, too. So if you all are uh, wanting to catch a stream tonight, I think he's streaming. Don't hold me to that. Because um, we all know how S Dan's streaming schedule can be. <laughs> but uh, yeah, hopefully he'll stream tonight and uh, do some more of this. Some more S Beyond Wolf Nacho Preserve. So yeah, definitely be sure to follow that nerd over on his channel to stay up with update with some more Beyond Wolf Nature Preserve. Which hopefully one of these days kind of soon we'll actually start the Nature Preserve part. We kind of have it mapped out now like where it's going to go and everything so we might actually be able to put some animals in here. Ha! Who am I kidding? 
we'll, we'll, we'll get to the nature preserve part and that's when we're gonna decide okay we're done thanks for playing everybody this was fun we are now gonna retire from beyond wolf nature preserve indefinitely and uh bye Do do do. Hey, what's up, Pixel Gamer? You're building a uh, Planet Coaster Park. Heck yeah, Planet Coaster. Inspired by Lake Compounds in Connecticut. Uh, called Frontierland. Hell yeah, that sounds fun. I've never been to Lake uh, Compounds. I know which park you're talking about, though. You got burned out by Planet Z, but still love watching it. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. From Planet Coaster to Planet Z, love both games. They're both great, aren't they? They both are uh, great in their own right. For what they do but yeah it's kind of cool to go jump back and forth between the two games see it's it's really hard for me to jump back and forth between the two of them I, i'm so used to like the way that planet zoo handles and like the scenery and where like the ui and everything i'm just like i'm like spoiled now <laughs> with uh planet zoo i guess you'd say but yeah i do like seeing a good planet coaster park show up every once in a while Ooh, Boulder Rush. That's a fun uh, redone name for it. It's an RMC, huh? And that's at the beginning of the park? Always love a good coaster at the start of the park. I always built mine where you'd have like a main street and like a carousel, essentially. The carousel for me in Planet Coaster was like the flamingos in Planet Zoo, where you had to have a carousel as your first ride or first attraction. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I like a good entrance coaster. At the back to get all the people to go back there, right? There's a bit of theme park tip for everyone. Never go to the coaster that's at the front of the park. Always go to the back of the park, because that one's going to have a less of a line. And Yeah, that's pretty much it. There's usually not as big of a line at the coaster in the back of the park as everyone's stopping at the front of the park. Vines are always really good. Aha! There we go. It's kind of hard to see the name of it, but that's perfect. That's perfect. Do, do something funny uh, on to me is that a that commented on one of Mike's vids in 2018 and he just responded hey we get updates about that stuff right we see when uh we get comments and stuff oh okay nice what's up there buddy yeah glad you found me on uh youtube yeah i decided to not do uh streaming on twitch anymore just because all most of my viewers and views and videos and stuff were on uh youtube so it just didn't really make sense to me to keep switching back and forth so yeah i'm oh, glad you found the channel again though Twitch is better about notifications. It kind of is. Yeah, the notifications for YouTube are sparse and in between, even if you have the bell on. Yeah, I think that a lot of things Twitch did were better than YouTube, but overall, I, I enjoy YouTube way more. Way, way, way more. But I still hang out on Twitch every once in a while. Usually for watching D&D uh, &D streams. I usually watch D&D &D streams over on YouTube. Or, or uh, Twitch, excuse me. And you switch to YouTube. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it seems like a lot of people kind of realize it's just a... Uh, oh, excuse me. It's a kind of a more stable platform to stream on, I guess, if anything. Like, yeah, I do think, like, the 
Twitch chat and other things like that are uh, are better than YouTube's. But yeah, overall, I just like the again. I think yeah, more more reliability, more. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, Twitch is TOS. Yeah, that's that's for sure. Okay, okay, heck <laughs> yeah. Oh, Mixer. Yeah, I tried Mixer for like a day or two, and it was just like it was horrendous. It was horrendous. Um, hey, my wife is calling me. She may have just gotten off of work. So let me take this call, and then we're gonna keep uh, foliaging up. Cause yeah, we're basically done with this. I just wanna do some more uh, foliage work. So I'll be right back. Bach. Yeah, and she's uh, heading home. So we actually got to quicken pace a little bit here because I was supposed to have dishes done and I don't. <laughs> Whoops. I done goofed. Actually, I didn't really anticipate streaming this song. That's a lot of it. But that is no big deal. No big deal. Oh, game's freezing. Oh, the emotes. Yeah, we had some really funny emotes over on Twitch. That is, that's some of the things like I wish would make their way over to YouTube is the emotes and stuff. Because ones we have now, they're just very basic, right? It's like an iPhone emotes or whatever. Oh, that kind of just barely fits. I have to go with the medium one. Now that, that kind of works. I like how that looks too. With it crawling up the side of the wall like that. I think it looks really good. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do it again. Yeah, but over here on the back side of this and maybe try and cover up the billboard a little bit. Kind of hard to see. Sun. There we are. That's the gross, you know, <laughs> abandoned look I'm going for. That's what we're looking for. Nice. Yeah, that looks cool. My dog is giving me puppy dog eyes right now. He's not a puppy, so it doesn't... <laughs> but um, he's giving me those puppy dog eyes because he wants dinner, and it's not his dinner time yet. He's looking at me like, come on, it's close enough. Just do it, man. Let's just go eat. You can't give in to temptation. Yeah. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? There's a bunch of different other things. I think a lot of what I want to keep adding in is stuff like just outside of it, like here. So like trucks and cranes and uh, other little detail bits there. But this is kind of cool. It's starting to come together um, here and there. So we're going to get another building maybe there-ish. And then, yeah, can you imagine it? Like with another big building right here. And then you really start to feel like you're encased in the industrial area. Ooh, before we sign off. Before we go, one last little thing. Yeah, the creeping vines, yeah. The mist, we have some misters going off. Oh, no, no, that's not the right one. No, not the misters, it's the 
smoke that's it smoke effect i always mix up the misters and the smoke effect because the smoke actually like propels it or pushes it out there there we go yep so let's do that and we'll get some more smoky bits kind of maybe coming out of this a little bit like it's leaking Cool. All right. And okay, now this is the last. I keep coming up with more and more ideas and I want to keep building. I really do. I probably could go for another few hours just completing this whole thing. Um, but yeah, I gotta get going. <laughs> Let's get saplings. And I like to do this. And I, I kind of forget to do it more so than, or more than I'd like to admit, but um, yeah, making it look like little trees, like little saplings are starting to come up, right? Out of the ground. There we go, there we go. Yeah, do different variations of saplings. Dog just got a hospital. He had uh, to have surgery since he's 16 years old, but he's doing great. That's an old dog. And in fact, yeah, he's doing a lot better now. That's good to hear. So that's, yeah, that's definitely an older dog at that point. I hope our mine can live that long. And yeah, I have little bits of saplings fully grown. Um, yeah. Kind of growing out of like the lumber, making it look like it hasn't been used in a long time. And I really want to do, and maybe we'll do this build tomorrow. Um, for the next industry one i really want to get a uh do i have an example of it around here no i really want to get a build going where it's like a caved in uh really big industry building like basically like this one right here just a little bit taller and maybe like a whole square but like this corner here would be like caved in where a tree would be growing up through it and we could like look into like if you're passing by here like you could look into the building with like the tree like going up uh like through it through the roof and then maybe like see a bunch of other abandoned decrepit like plants growing in the background and stuff but maybe we'll try and do that tomorrow i've been having an idea for a little bit but um so cool but hey i'm gonna go ahead and uh wrap up there my friends so if you haven't already be sure to hit that like button it does help out the uh the stream here um, i know that streams and videos um feel very different but they do work the same where as long as you are hitting that um, you know, we're getting rid of this. As long as you're hitting that like button, it does help uh, give this stream uh, promoted later on to more um, people, which is always a good thing to help the channel grow. Because, uh, yeah, a surprising amount of people do watch the streams um, after after they're done and everything. So, but hey, thanks so much, everyone, for hanging out. Always do appreciate it. Nice to see some old faces um, make their way on over from Twitch and everything. Thanks for the donations from who is it? We have Domez and uh, S Dork there, S Dan. Uh, don't forget, S Dan is hopefully going to be streaming later tonight. Um, I'm going to send him the file over and if, uh, if he's not too busy, he'll be streaming this and everything. But yeah, so hey, uh, again, hopefully we'll be live tomorrow, again at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, so yeah, get your notification bells on for the uh, next time we go live. But hey, thanks so much, everyone. Appreciate the heck out of you. And we will catch you in the next one.